um, it's good to hear from you. Um, I've been thinking a lot. Um, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh, you know, I hope we uh, can stop playing phone tag like this, but I just want to let you know, welcome to Blackwater, good friends telling better stories. Um, yeah, uh, hit me up when you get this. I love you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sean good Such voice a voice voice voice. <laughs> I just sent you a text saying, text me, please don't call me. <laughs> hey, I'm driving, so I have to leave a voice message. I know I left a voicemail just now. I do love the like subtle psychological differences yeah. between getting the little voice note and getting a full voicemail. That I you mean, have to, like, Sean, you know I am all about the voice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know why it's, it's different though? Why? Extra step. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. a little thingy on my phone that says, you have a voicemail, and I go, Ugh. <laughs> 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 If I open up my message, and it's a thing, I'm like, play. I think it's a power move <laughs> to leave a voicemail. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Love, yeah. I would love, this is this is the one useful thing for AI. Can uh -huh. they come out with an AI that takes that voice note and just turns it into a text message? Yes. Yeah, they have those. Like, called it's called text speech. speech. Yeah, but then why are you sending me voice notes? <laughs> <laughs> What I'm saying is, I don't want the just voice text. text. Just, just text. No, 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 no. I just want before text I, interactions. Before I jump into the announcements, it's because of tone. Oh. Like, that's oh, my oh, point. You hit something. Just text. <laughs> can't go into announcements. Just text with emojis, okay? That's my, careful. Yeah. My if you want to apply tone, put an emoji out. Put emojis. My okay. favorite thing is, Sean and I have had this conversation about our good, good friend, Adam DeMarco, <laughs> does not text. No, he he's a phone, phone guy. guy. He will call he's you. He's a phone guy. And he, like, if you text him, he will call You'll get you. a call. It doesn't matter what time minutes. of night it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump into announcements here. I'm going to acknowledge that we are streaming tonight from the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Coast Salish, Stolo, Semiamu, Kualtan, Sawasan, and Musqueam First Nations. While our characters play in a world that Tim has created, we are honored to be able to live, work, and play on these lands tonight. Uh, and my challenge to you is to go to native-land.ca. Uh, mm -hmm. It is an international, worldwide thing. You can put in your postal code, your zip code, or wherever you live, uh, and you can find out uh, which lands that you live on. So that's my challenge to you, to go do that. Uh, a big thank you to our sponsors and partners. We are proud to be sponsored by Sirenscape. Epic Games require epic sound. We're also using epidemic sound for this fantastic campaign as well. We are partnered with Legend Keeper. It is the ultimate world building tool created by DMs for DMs. You can check it out at exclamation point Legend Keeper for all the info and to follow our Blackwater partner link over to the site. Uh, our campaign two mini sponsor is the Mm, no, I jumped half a half a announcement. Our campaign two mini sponsor is MTM Printworks. MTM is your one-stop shop for all your tabletop mini needs from fantasy to western to sci-fi and modern. MTM has you covered. Just really, really high quality uh, resin printing. Uh, the proprietor Max is wonderful. Type exclamation point MTM to head on over to the Etsy site. Our campaign artist is the amazing Tiana Kovacevic. Her art is everywhere all over the channel. You know it and you love it. You can find her at miss dot underscore Marston on Instagram. And we're also proud to be sponsored by Familiar Dice, creator of the most beautiful math clack clacks around who have been rolling really well for me lately. Um, so, which much to Tim's chagrin. Uh, and you can take exclamation point dice in the chat. Uh, and if you want custom commissioned dice, please go uh, hit Robin up across socials. He's wonderful and amazing to work with. You may have noticed we are playing live in studio. We are being hosted here in this amazing studio by the wonderful folks from Quest Keep, part of Quest Coast Studios. Uh, you can type exclamation point Quest Keep in the chat to find out more. We have some big thank yous to our crew tonight. We have Dylan and Jason in the studio tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, Campaign 2 has its YouTube home over on the Quest Keep oh. YouTube page. Uh, the episodes are there uh, with the uh, breaks cut out of them so you can just skip right through to all the action. Please go follow Quest Keep on YouTube. Ain't no breaks on this drive. Uh, yeah. And go follow us over on our Blackwater D&D YouTube page as well. Also, go follow us on TikTok. Go Rush follow TikTok. us on Instagram. Yeah, go on follow there. us on Get all on of the me. socials. Oh. Uh, oh, X man. and... Love it. Threads as well. My gosh, guys, I don't have many. Please let threads. me get through. Y'all remember threads? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm, I do all of the Blackwater D and D socials. Are we on MySpace? I wish. We should be on MySpace. It's so hard to you keep up. You probably find our old I profiles on, like, uh, oh, are you on I have people being like, oh, are you on Blue Sky? And I'm like, that's so much time. What is that? Yeah. Is that are you on Chug Hub? <laughs> <laughs> so some you know, very Chug brief programming Chug updates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, I'm sorry. <laughs> I left my dice in the other room. Should I get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the best. Episode 20. Take your time. 
dropped on the podcast today, and our teaser of God Killer dropped across our feed last week, and the response we have been getting is incredible. Thank you so much, uh, and we are very, very excited to drop the rest of this series. Uh, we're deep in pre-production and recording and editing. Uh, I'm learning so much as I go, uh, so thank you to the wonderful creators out there who have been offering me advice and their time to consult with me about how to do a podcast. Um, and if you're not on our Patreon, what the heck are you doing? Go do that yeah. right now. Type exclamation point Patreon uh, and go follow. Um, you get our uh, uh, talk back show chat water after every episode. You get our Patreon only series as well as uh, our Patreons only Discord, which is just a delightful, wonderful place. Uh, we also have our our top tier of our Patreon, which is our Blackwater Keep level, where if you want to, you can have uh, a once a month session uh, with one of our wonderful folks here at the table to talk about whatever you want to with regards to TTRPGs. Uh, ask for advice or help, like have us help guide you in that kind of capacity. So please come check out our Patreon. It's a delightful time. Uh, and you can have exclamation point Patreon to find that. Um, also, I am very, very stoked to say that Jess and I, uh, Jess, we are missing tonight as uh, she is away doing family stuff. Uh, but we are guesting on the new long form campaign happening here at Quest Keep. Uh, Eat, Slay, Love drops September 12th. So that's not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. And it is a love letter to cheesy and epic romance novels uh, and all the different types of love out there. Uh, Roz is DMing, which is fantastic. We are in, we've filmed a couple episodes already and are uh, it is pre recorded, but we're doing that over the next little bit. Uh, and it's going to be a heckin' awesome time. So please come check it out. Uh, and it is on Tuesdays each week here at Quest Keep. Um, and that's it. That's, that's it. We have a really amazing sponsor that I'm excited to talk about next week. So buckle up for that. And you'll see it across all of our socials. But grab your tissues, grab your spider milk, grab your joints, and your best friends. Whether you are new with us tonight or you have been with us for ages, thank you so much for your support. It is through community that we make amazing things happen. And we hope you feel super, super wel welcome at our table. Jason, roll the clip, roll the clip! All right. Hey. Uh, all right. What? Huh? Who? Me? That the DM going through the minis <laughs> and then looking up definitely yeah, had the energy of the. Seconds. Oh, you've walked into a teenage boy's room without knocking. <laughs> studying. I'm just studying. <laughs> They're just little figurines. <laughs> All right, so for those of you just joining us tonight, last week the party returned to Taewin for a brief stop where Shai was able to reconnect with her brother Adri, and Esper met up with Eki to try to glean more information about Mr. Moss. This all had tokens made for each member of the party, and Mark and Miri narrowly avoided the, the thought virus of Harkoon the Living Memory from spreading. Oh, wow. Harkoon the Living Memory. <laughs> Harkoon the Living Memory. After okay. some debate, they reconvened with Moss, who then took them to Caradoc. Uh, to meet a former colleague, Halora, who is in need of help. And that is where we pick up as Halora comes out to meet you and says, follow me. And you watch as she puts her hood up and she sort of turns over her shoulder, please keep a low profile. And she starts weaving through the city. And I need everyone to make a stealth check. I love that. Uh, I will be pirati pi pirating. 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 Piloting Miri. I'm uh, the idea that you've, you've pirated taken it from her by force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are the captain now. Uh, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace oh, no. uh, on us as we go through, you've so that's a plus ten. My dice are mad that I forgot them. Uh, oh. fair that is a critical failure, Tim. Okay. But Mark plus is ten is an strong. eleven. Well, uh, I mean, if we're just looking at the numbers, I think that's like a... I, I do have proficiency, so... Oh, did somebody cast Pass Without a Trace? Did. Okay. Yeah. That'd be a seventeen. <laughs> It's still a critical failure. <laughs> it's still a critical failure. Um, at my table, ones and twenties, success failures. Even on skill checks. 30. 30. 26. 26. Also 26. Okay. 
Uh, all right, so you uh, kind of start heading through the city, and you can see it is bustling. There are a number of warforged uh, and humans and elves kind of moving throughout, and gnomes as well. Um, and you can see a number of shops that line the streets. Uh, and Mark, as you are struggling to kind of keep up as Halora is moving quite gracefully through the crowd along with your companions, uh, you smash oh! uh, into a, uh, a large cart full of uh, like iron ingots that spill all over the ground. Uh, and you watch as Halora turns and like eyes like daggers. You can see they sort of like dial in her warforged eyes sort of narrow on you. The aperture you closes. See, exactly, yeah. as you see this sort of like thin blue light. And she goes, shh. She keeps moving uh, as you're like, whoa, you kind of move around and the uh, is like, oh, uh, and loading the iron ingots back on. Iron ingots. Um, <laughs> um, and you head through and you watch, she takes you down an alleyway uh, and about 20 minutes down, kind of weaving through these alleyways, uh, you find yourself on the edges of the city. The whole city sort of rests in a bit of a crater um, and you can see that like it is quite dense. There's lots of close houses and, and larger buildings and things like that. Um, but she takes you in behind a building um, to a kind of large stone wall and you watch as she runs her hand across and a door kind of folds down uh, into <clears throat> stairs and she takes you downstairs. Wizards with their cool hidden places, god damn it. Um, it's cold here, I mean, right? Or am I thinking Garrier? It is cool, it's not It's not icy cold, but uh -huh. it is definitely cooler. Yes, we got breath? Than your, a little bit, because it okay. is early in the morning. Um, and you can see, yeah, most most folks are in warmer clothes. It's uh, the equivalent of like November yeah. at this point. Also. Yeah, yeah, so it's chilly. Okay, There's, there is like a little bit of frost um, kind of on the rooftops and things like that as the sun is is just com coming over the crater edge. Um, as she takes you down into a fairly small, modest workshop. Hmm. Um, you can see there are a number of tools set out, a large table in the center. Um, with various, you can see modifications for a Warforged. You can see different um, arm pieces and armor pieces. Um, as she takes off her robe, you can see her kind of green-plated uh, skin. Um, and you, you can see the, like, the, the way the metalwork is, is almost flawless in its sort of seams. Um, but you can hear the kind of faint whirring of gears and things like that. Thank you for coming. How can we be helpful to you? Yes, I'll be straight to the point. I don't have a lot of time before I have to leave, and there is something of great import that I need. There is uh, an old man in town, a tinkerer. He has given some demonstrations at the temple of a unique piece that I believe would be of great use to me. I need you to find him, and I need you to find where his workshop is. Let me know where it is and I will take it from there. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. What does he look like? He is uh, older, looks to be in his maybe 60s. Human? Yes, I believe. Although Old he, beard. He has short gray stubble, very short gray hair. Mm -hmm. What is the um, item that he has that has your curiosity? It is a disc with a, some kind of unique ball bearing in the center. It's magic, and it can be inserted into the chess piece of a Warforged to increase vitality. What does that mean for a, a Warforged that increase vitality, like super strength, or...? I believe it um, makes you a little bit more hearty. Oh, okay. Where I'm going, I need that. He uh, wears a fine, crisp white shirt, He has sort of a faint glow to his chest. I believe he isn't fully human. Okay. <laughs> As I said, he always wears the same shirt. Is the few times I've seen him, it seems to be the same. I've seen him twice at the temple. He seems to be doing some kind of demonstration series. And where are you heading that you require this? It's my business. Are you, um. <clears throat> Would it be uh, uh, pertinent of us to attempt to convince him to give this to you, or? I just need to know where his workshop is and then I can take things from there. 
if we can get one of these ball bearings, would that like save you a trip? You know, or I'm not sure if I'm not being clear. No, you're being Find very clear. Find the you. workshop. Yes. I don't need you to take it from him. All right. I just need to know where his workshop is, and I can take it from there. All right. All right. As I said, I do not have a lot of time. I need this by sundown tomorrow. And so. can I ask you a question? Yes. You seem very, very capable and very um, able. Uh, what, what, why is it um, that you require our help it's beneath this? Not just that. <laughs> he has proved elusive. <clears throat> and I am, I believe I am being watched in the city. Oh. So it is best I do not go out. I have enjoyed some anonymity here and I wish to keep it that way. Is there anyone that we should look out for who isn't this old man? Or who might pose harm to you? that we should keep an eye out for. I'm not sure exactly, but I believe there are two mm. gentlemen. Yes. I haven't got a good look at them, I haven't stuck around long enough to see, but one is shorter than the other. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out. Yes. And should we uh, report back here? When yes, we have the return here when you have the location of the workshop. All right. Understood. Okay. And, um... We'll, uh, make haste on that. I, um... I believe that, um... Our mutual friend indicated you might have some information for us regarding... a quandary. What is this about? We are looking for more information about a man by the name of, uh, Gideon. Oh, and yes. And his associations here. Gideon Kincaid. Yeah. A brilliant man, but twisted. Yep. Yes, what would you like to know? <laughs> Faced with this question. <laughs> um, <laughs> anything that you might know that he wouldn't make public to the world? Uh, anything that can be of use? Potentially where he's located most centrally, I'd or... Pretty confident I know that. He might have moved since. When was the last time you spoke to Gideon? It was some time ago. I visited him at his compound in Vermal Hask. This was a number of years ago. I haven't spoken to him in quite a while, but I did hear something. He had a fascination with death and a particularly grim fascination with mass death. I, um, I heard something of after the eruption in Katona. I know he was interested in the uh, ashes of the city. Uh, uh, Goliath. Yes. Your visit to his compound about 15, 20 years ago? No, this would have been nearly 70 years ago. So, right, okay. So you stayed in one place for a long time? Yeah. Have you heard of any um, recent dealings that he's had, anything come through the, you know, the back ways about what he's up to these days? We're, uh, we're just trying to get a bead on him and we've had a couple interactions with people associated with him that have been unpleasant to say the least. I could understand that. When I knew Gideon, he was, um, we shared similar pursuits in the extension of life. I wasn't interested in lichdom and neither was he, but his pursuits fell into a darker place of undeath. Whereas mine, uh, I fell more in line with the extension of life, the slowing of time. Gideon's human, you know? Mm -hmm. She said she visited him 70 years ago? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, we believe that uh, Gideon has associated himself with a, a sort of revivified, uh, a long dead cult uh, going by Gates Vale. Do you think, there, there, there's some- Show the symbol. Yeah, the symbol. Yeah. Uh, do you think there's any chance that these gentlemen who are following you are in association with that? No. No? I don't believe so. But the Gates Vale was something of a fascination for Gideon for quite some time. 
that was one of the reasons we parted ways. He's, um, we also have reason to believe that his associates or people who work for him have been kidnapping uh, priestesses of Nephthysicate, particularly the, the ones that can only speak with the dead. Yes, I am not surprised. He began to turn to unpleasant methods to investigate the veil between life and death. Mm-hmm. Per, perhaps another colleague or um, compatriot of his, you might also have heard of Elban. It's located on the, the Almancay Peninsula. Yes, I know Elban. We're, uh, we found ourselves uh, on the trail of one of these priestesses asked to retrieve her, and they were taking her there to his tower. Interesting. We know a lot less about Elaban than we do about Gideon. This is true. Um, if there's, if you can tell us like what his deal is. He was our mentor. Oh. Both of yours? There was four of us. Myself, Moss, Gideon, and Yadira. Yadira, we've heard her name before too, uh, another colleague of Moss's. Yes, they were quite close. I see she smiles. Where is she now? I believe she resides somewhere in the Yassil Rainforest. She was the one who said knew about your curse. Mm. He was the one who was going to get you. I've got a question for you. So yeah. the four of you were uh, apprentices or... Of a kind, yes. yes. Uh, roughly, when would that have been? 17, 80 years ago. Moss was quite young. But he is still... Much older than he appears, then. Yes, but I believe his kind lives longer than a traditional human life. Elaban is an elf. And Gideon, it appears, has figured out some way to extend his life, at least temporarily. Somehow, yeah. We've, um, go ahead. I was just going to ask what um, Elaban's focus was. If he was... He was obsessed with power. Hmm. He took us under his wing. I was the eldest of his apprentices. Gideon and I left around the same time. But he was obsessed with power and pushing the limits of magic. Um, He believed that uh, the arcane was the way to control everything and everyone. I, um, we got the impression that, uh, that Moss and him are known good terms, is that correct? Yes, they had something of a falling out. Uh, um, for some folks that have started working with Moss, have any words of wisdom? Um, I don't know. It's been a number of years since I had spoken to him. Uh, but he is still set in his ways. What ways are they? He's obsessed with this idea that everyone should get magic. And you don't believe that's the case? I believe some have the gift and some don't. Like anything. Right. If we do see Gideon again, is there anything you'd like us to pass on to him? I don't know. I told him the last time I saw him that if he continued down this road, he would be forever changed. And he would make decisions he would come to regret one day. He didn't believe me. He warned me of the same thing, so. Mm. He made one that he will regret. I guess so. Um, this is a very appreciated thank you. Would you, um, if we are looking, I'm assuming I don't want to draw more attention to you than, than you're wanting, we'll uh, find somewhere to stay in. Uh, care doc otherwise until and then we'll yeah. try and be back by tomorrow at sundown you said yes that would mate, be ideal mate ask her about money are we getting paid for this yeah um not to be crass but uh, this job we're doing for you is there a remuneration of course when you watch as she walks over to a chest and opens it and she grabs out a bag of gold coins there's 3,000 gold pieces on completion or upfront? Now and on completion, I'll 
give you another 3,000 gold pieces. Great. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. sick. <laughs> I just like I Esper just with the most, just so much money. No <laughs> casual, yeah. Um, I have one last question for you. Yes. It's a bit more of a pet project for myself. Um, you, you say our friend Moss is obsessed with origins and magic. It is also yeah. a um, newly acquired interest of my own. Mm. Uh, do you know where he derives his magic? He's an odd one. I usually I can place origins, but with him, it eludes me, and it's a curiosity. I do not know. Uh, I will say, when I first met him, even as a young man, in his early twenties, or the equivalent in human years, he was always very uh, charming, mm. and he also studied very hard, more than any of us it seemed to be difficult for him to ascertain anything, but he was more determined than any of us. So not naturally gifted with magic? No. No, he was not. Right. Um, maybe one more thing. Um, you're obviously a at least according to Mr. Moss and with your history and your training, a very powerful magic user. And oftentimes those circles are quite small. Yes. Do you know someone named Marlory Shadair? The name sounds familiar. The Witch of the Shallow Moon Tide, I believe. Yeah. Um, what about her? I'm looking for her. Mm. I have not ever met her personally myself, okay. but I have heard of the title. There's a, I was able to uh, speak to her very briefly recently, and while she didn't say where she was, I'm, there's a piece of, of the message she sent me that I'm confused about. Mm. She said that she was going to the site of her rising, and I, I don't know what that means. Her rising. Who is the she? That's my question. Well, if you know that, you may find your answer. Maybe, uh, the, the moon, where he is. Ah. Well, uh, the story goes that uh, Riez was birthed into existence in the Reign of Peaks in Gustrum. Oh. That's the myth, anyways. That's, um, that's unfathomably helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. That's Will the you? first lead I've had on anything in a while, so thank you. You mean to tell me that uh, the moon originated from here? Uh, so the story goes. I don't know how much credence you want to give to a myth, but... All, all three of them? I don't know. I, I believe they each have their own myth associated with them. I would have to look into my library. Uh, well, if there's anything, um, any other things you uh, you come across, that would be uh, much appreciated. We'll be out of your hair. We'll get this job done. I have no hair. Would you like us to get you anything else just while we're out? Hair? Yeah. I, I know. No, I do not need no. hair. Fair. Thank you, Halora. We'll uh, let you be and we excuse ourselves into the city. She just goes back to, you see she's working on a, on like it's a 500 gold per person. Person. table. Uh, 500 for the party fund. Yep, okay, done. Um, also, fuck, she's so fucking cool, God. It's like mid-morning. Um, you're probably at sort of like 10 in the morning. Just wanna, just everyone was like, it was very dutiful students just then, just everyone was like, oh shit, 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 proper nouns, proper nouns, proper Not nouns. a single bit, too. <laughs> 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 No, yes. she's too powerful for bits. Yeah. She was having none of our bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I didn't even make a bit. She called me on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just said a common <laughs> phrase. And don't, you fucking don't you fucking beat me. Don't you beat me. Bit of Jason at best. Don't you try to make me laugh. <laughs> 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 Serious person. 
doing serious things. You make her laugh, you get a hundred dollars. Sick. Real life? Yeah. Okay. A hundred American Someone, dollars. Okay, like we uh, we head out into the city. All right. Where would you like to go in the city of Caradoc? The place she described. Probably, I'm was. assuming the temple first. Yes, you um, can go to the temple. And I'm assuming that, that temple would be of Thysera. Yes, it is the temple to Thysera. It is the large temple. Uh, when you arrived, it is uh, adjacent to the palace. And the palace has been converted. It's the old palace. Um, and it is now sort of a home for newcomers, new arrivals, and refugees. Um, and it's directly attached to the temple. To Fuck, it's so cool to be in Caradoc again. I'm losing um, my mind. So you head over kind of through the busy streets. You see there is uh, a worship service going on. There's a number of people kind of milling about. Um, but you head into the temple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you head into the temple. Um, and you find... Uh, there is a, it's almost like a coliseum in the round. Um, you can see there are a number of uh, rows of benches that circle the entire temple around the top that go down. And then closer to the center, you see in the very center there is a circular workbench. with A number of tools kind of laid out all around it. And surrounding out from there, there are a number of smaller workbenches where you can see folks working at each of these small workbenches on different projects and things. While the figure in the center, you can see, is a uh, uh, a woman wearing an ornate black silk robe. You can see it's embroidered. And as you head down, how close do you get? I'm going to approach the center and the figure. Okay, yeah, there wait, is. Wait, are we like interrupting? Yeah, there is uh, like a. She's, oh, there's a service oh, going on. She I think is we speaking would. She's the closest we can get. Probably like take place in pews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you kind of get down fashion. fairly close, just behind the kind of row. Of, the workbenches around the center workbenches are all pretty full. Right. Um, but there is a little bit of space you're able to carve out kind of close to there, so you get a good look. Um, but you can see her beautiful silk robes embroidered with small gears uh, that are kind of gold filigree. Um, and you can see as she turns and addresses as she's kind of moving about, talking to the crowd, you can see on the back there is also a, a beautiful cat uh, embroidered on the back. And you see her kind of dark black skin, or dark blue skin, sorry, um, and her, uh, like, uh, her black hair is tied up, kind of curly ringlet. She has quite large glasses. Um, and you can see there are uh, two deer-like horns um, that appear to be almost crystal-like, this sort of bluish crystal. Um, and as she adjusts her glasses, you see she looks down and she's working on a candle snuff. Fairly simple, uh, like long kind of uh, steel rod, and then the end is sort of this ornate um, piece of brass. Um, and she's kind of carving it as she's speaking. Um, and you can tie, you hear her speaking of building on tradition and rooting one's work in the foundations laid by our ancestors to strive higher to new heights. And as she turns, you can see she's wearing uh, quite a beautiful amulet that is a, uh, a golden cog. And you see in the center is a profile, in profile is an obsidian cat. Um, and you, like, you can see everyone is enraptured, but also the people at the workbench are working and listening at the same time. And there's a whole host of different kinds of folks. There's Warforged, there's humans and gnomes and elves and all kinds. It's parallel play, the religion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just working quietly yeah. next to each other doing yeah. thing. Oh, that's lovely. And you see as she sort of finishes her speech, she talks about one's life being uh, the sort of end of one's life, to think of it as building the bricks and mortar for the next generation, and the sort of culmination of that. And she finishes her piece, and you can see everyone kind of working away, and there's this sort of peaceful silence dotted with kind of clicks and clacks of little tools. And then she invites someone else to come up. Um, I would like, as many of you know, my father um, has come into town for a few demonstrations for our uh, mechanical brothers and sisters. Uh, if you would, Father. Uh, and you can see um, from one of the front workbenches, uh, a man stands up. He's quite tall uh, as he strides over in a crisp white shirt. And um, he sort of smiles and raises his hand. And you see he walks over to the inside to the center workshop. Um, 
and you see he pulls out, he has on his hip uh, a beautiful set of tools that he rolls out. And uh, you can see he pulls out uh, the disc that he was talking about, that Halora was talking about, just based on her description of it. And you can see he kind of holds it up, and it is this sort of brass brass disc. And in the center, you're close enough to be able to see this um, this kind of large marble-sized ball bearing. Um, and you watch as he turns a small screw, and it opens up, and you can see look like dozens of gears and you're sort of squinting to kind of see but it looks incredibly intricate and everyone you can feel everyone sort of lean in and look as he begins to describe um, the reason he built this particular machine Um, and as he finishes this one you watch as he unbuttons his shirt and you can see in the center of his chest there is sort of a disc with this bluish glow. And you watch as he turns a dial and there is space that kind of opens up and you watch as he inserts it into himself. And there's sort of a like calm over the crowd and just in awe. He goes, I'll, uh, I'll be giving demonstrations for anyone who would like to stick around afterwards. I'll be here all day. And you see some people start to leave, and you see a, a number of war force start to kind of trickle down to get a closer look. I'll stop moving towards yeah. him. I think Thistle would have, during the demonstrations, he would have like made his way over to a workbench that had some other people working at it, and he would have done that sort of like thing where he comes over and he goes, hey, "Very good, yes, that's very interesting. Who is that <laughs> <laughs> lecturing up there?" Uh, you see uh, a war force kind of turn, and their eyes kind of dilate open. Ah, why, that's Kokani Lightkeeper. Oh. The first high priest of New Caradoc. Oh, no. Of course. Okay. Of course. Apologize, my eyes are not so good as they used to be. And you watch as their head sort of turns as they begin to sort of inspect your body. You are interesting. Where do you come from? Oh, I come from the Feywild. Ah. Yes. Interesting. Do you mind if I sketch you? Of course. And he watches they pull out a, like, uh, a, a small notebook. Put my foot up on a chair. <laughs> this was what that passive is. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. Uh, and Everybody to trying to paint you. him like they're one of them French girls. <laughs> yeah. In incredible detail. It's just a beautiful uh, kind of charcoal sketch of you. Um, oh, thank you very much. No. Thank you. Time. Like, you're just fascinated. The rest Do we have to bust do? the dice out right now? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like some dice need to do some 6D9 stuff I can drop it in. Oh, it's early days. It's early days. We can't fade to black. It's like 9 in the morning, y'all. So. Uh, yeah. We rolled dice in the afternoon. Now we're getting some morning glory. <laughs> I think we would follow. Uh, yeah. I think we would all follow in with Esper. I'll towards. respectfully wait for a moment. To He's, um, his name is Kokani Lightsaber. If you want to make proper introductions. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> um, That's a very cool name. Yeah. And that makes sense because he opens the chest, his chest is kind of lit. And it's saving. He's saving the light. Exactly. I like good branding. He's, uh, <laughs> there you, is a bit of a crowd, but it's a little bit of a wait. Yeah. Do you want to wait to sort of get yeah, closer? Resp- oh, oh. Okay. Absolutely. I think while that's float around. <laughs> while that's happening, um, I think I would be keeping kind of my eyes on the rest of the room um, mm-hmm. because Halora's asked us to look for two kind of figures that might be traveling together, with one being shorter than the other. I'd oh. be keeping an eye out for that. Okay. Just, just the most vague. <laughs> there are two men who are not the exact same heights because there will always together. be one shorter if they're not the same height. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One children? Any twins? <laughs> like, <laughs> the start of the third Witcher game where they're like, he's like, I'm looking for a pale woman with black hair. And I'm like, describe more! <laughs> so yeah, baby. Go deeper, dog. Uh, the perception's gonna be a 23. 23. Uh, you do not see uh, any two that sort of stand out. Um, everybody here seems to be pretty engaged on what's happening at the center workshop um, as it's sort of between services and, and you can see um, the priestess is sort of standing to the side. Um, kind of watching, and she has sort of a small smile on her face. Um, you do overhear some of them talking to her. This is uh, Priestess Vesper, like keeper, um, uh, as she's as she's kind of talking to a few of the the, um, the worshippers and things like that. But everybody seems pretty focused. And f- you guys are the only non-warforged. 
Uh, so you do stick a little, a cool. little bit in that sense. I, th- I think I would uh, like have her overheard that her name, that she was also mm-hmm. a, a priestess. I would relay that to the group, a Vesper Lightkeeper, and also put the tie together because we met Iliad Lightkeeper, who was <sighs> captain of the boat that we traveled on. I'm a big dummy, as we've established. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I also, like, if I had one historical proficiency, it's like adventuring stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, does... I guess Kokani lightsaver <laughs> probably wouldn't ring a bell. And she said like, her father, mm-hmm. so you're assuming lightkeeper, lightkeeper, lightkeeper. That name's how I will trust American. this man right. over anything. Yes. I'll um, have you make a history check. Yeah. I won't impose disadvantage. You probably would have had. I'm already dumb enough. Yeah. 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 Come on, baby boy. That's an eight. <laughs> okay. It's just total, all up? 10 minus two. I don't know what to tell you. Nice. <laughs> um. It's not ringing any bells. The name Kokanee is like maybe, but you can't, you're not putting it together. No, mate. No one asked, but I don't know who that is. I'm gonna gonna give one of these. Yeah? I just wanna play this uh, tricky, tricky track, you know, get him to tell us what we want to know. I think we just introduce him to Thistle and they'll start kissing and like, he'll invite Thistle back to his place and that's how we'll know. Historically, that has been the case. I mean, Oh, do you want to get in on this too? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're far enough away. We're kind of waiting for this to happen at this point. So I would probably say in a more just hushed tones. I mean, we don't need that if we're going to try and keep everybody. But I, if Alora's asked us to find the workshop of the high priest of a whole religion. Former high priest. <laughs> right. But totally find that. that seems um, a lot. Oh, I know. Let's just talk about the end of the world stuff that we know. High priests here's, love that. Here's the thing. If we come at this with honesty, she never said don't tell him that I'm looking for him. She said find out where the workshop is. So why don't we just say, hey, there's someone who's looking for your workshop. It would help us a lot if you could tell us, but then you also have the heads up that someone's looking for your workshop. I mean, and if it's something that extends vitality, it kind of makes sense that she probably wants one. She's he also wants to know who she is. I mean, she 100% said she needs it for where she's going. Maybe he'll just make her one. It's possible. Do we just well, this is the thing. Ha, ha, ha. But she just said she did. We did she she did. doesn't want one necessarily. She wants to know where the workshop uh, is. She was very specific about not wanting to tell us any specifics. Well, why don't we ask? And if he says, why do you want to know? Honesty? Uh, I don't want to get on the bad side of a whole religion. I think maybe we... He seems nice. We, I think if we express a genuine interest in what he's doing, he might say, oh, I'm an old man, but you can see my workshops. You know, something like that. Like, old men are lonely. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, we can make this work. No, I agree. I agree. But if he's like, is there a deeper reason? I think it's being like, we're working for someone who wants to know. Would you trust that? That sounds... I would trust that if someone told me that they were working for someone who's looking for a thing that I'm kept keeping secret, I'm gonna trust that that's the truth. He, why else would you tell me? But that he truth? ain't keeping it a secret though. He is literally doing presentations in the middle of the fucking biggest True. church. Why can't she figure out where it is? She wants to know his secret workshop, which is probably secret for a reason. She Otherwise, probably, she wouldn't ask us. She probably wants to get schematics for it so that she can make it herself. No, mate. Look. I was like, could we get that for you? She was like, no, 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 I want the workshop. She told us she wants that thing, probably not. I mean, you know these wizard people, he probably has some fucking pen that rewrites reality that she wants. She's not gonna tell us the truth. She wants something else. She wants to fuck this guy over. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we play Which both means sides. if she does fuck him over, we don't want to be associated with her. This guy has some god oh, on his I'm side. S- I'm saying, if she is planning on fucking him over, us telling him that gives him the fucking head start. But then he's lightning us or something. Maybe he does, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think he's gonna lightning us for giving him a warning. Yeah, we're giving him the someone's heads up that someone's for after it. his shit. We say we've been contracted to find a thing. You seem like an up and up guy. You know, it would help us a lot if you could find us this thing. But also, this person's trying to find a thing. Maybe he knows her. And then he says no, and what? Laura's like. Listen, I am not going to trust then, a person who was an apprentice of Alaban. That seems but also like a mistake. 
we split up. I go ask, I'm like, hey, I'm working on a contract. And if that fails, we come at it with, from a different angle. Yes. Split up and thistle with it. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go follow after Thistle to make sure he doesn't get himself in Shit. Oh, I guess it's... Okay. No, you go with them because you're good at talking and I'm good at talking. We need to... Miri they've, goes. They've already left. Maybe it's you and Miri goes with you too. Okay. Okay, Miri's good at talking. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk a way out of it. I think honesty. Uh, I, I would... don't, but that's our dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> the skills are reflecting. Two of them. Oh, I think boy. I would try and catch up to Thistle. Where, where are you going? Well, do you, why don't we go talk to the priestess? That's where I'm going. Oh, fantastic! I so mean, I like I start like she's going to know where her dad's shop is. It's probably her shop. It's, I'm also curious about what is yet. the what is the call like the the cat iconography. That's an this kid, but yeah. why? Is, why is it in why is it in the cage? Why is there in a cop Like why is it both? Why is it both? I'm, well, I'm, her dad is the priest of the one. Yeah, but I didn't think that gods worked that way. I don't know. What do I know? I'm not religious at all. I mean, so we go over to uh, Vesper. She's there at the Oh, room. she's standing yeah. right there? She's, like, she's, she's, not, she's hanging out with her dad. Oh, okay. I thought she's she was like, like standing No, no, no. She's like near the. the okay, thing well, Thistle and I would go wait over here to, for a moment. To talk to her. Mm-hmm. To talk to her. Just to be separate from us. <laughs> yeah, literally to be separate like, from whatever. But that, like, <laughs> that, that, awkward, that awkward thing where you say goodbye and then you still keep going in the same direction. <laughs> oh, God, I God. love it. Also, Mark was like, they're gone. And I'm like, <laughs> well, he said I left. I didn't think he would just kind of shuffle Guys, over. we're level goal. six, okay? We are the only non-robots in this room, aside from the priestess. If we want to be, we're also hanging out together. Associated with each other, you two, you have to leave. We're level if, if six we're around, up, obviously, a le- level twenty, um, very high level people. It's not obvious to me. No. Okay. It's just, an old man. it's just an old man with a great crisp shirt. Are you in this room still, or did you leave? Where? I have moved to the other side. <laughs> of the room. I think we're taken up post up, like we've left on the other side to give them some space. Okay. Um, can we see each other? Is probably. Yeah, so absolutely. we can make eye contact. Um, yes. I'm this gonna, is. I'm going to approach the old man with a very nice shirt. Okay. Um, go for me. <laughs> oh, hi. He sort of. He doesn't. He's. Kind of fixing something. Hi. How should I ad- address you? I, I want to be respectful. Um, however you like. Uh, great. Um, uh, well, uh, I'll kind of lay it on the table. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark literally does that. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a big lunch. Uh, 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 this is this. Uh, the demonstration was fascinating. We've been asked by someone to, it was vague what they asked us to do. They want to know where you made it. And under the auspice of the, they want, it seems like they want this, but I think they want something else. Um, They go by the name of Halora. They've paid us a substantial sum of money to find out this place, but it seems like um, your goal here is seemingly benevolent and come to the demonstration uh, I think she wants something else what is this secret place she's looking for apparently she thinks you have some sort of workshop she wants us to find your workshop who are you I'm uh, my name is Esper Declan we we are of, of no true imports, but um, we've recently found ourselves entangled in some interesting events, and those events have led us here. Well, Esper Declan, I haven't heard that name in a very, very long time. Oh my god. So you know, I would suggest steer clear of Halora. And if she wants to talk to me about my workshop, she can come down here and talk to me herself. She's in uh, in a bit of a rush. She said she needed that because she was going somewhere that it would be useful. Well, that sounds like a her problem. Yeah. She was also saying that you're very elusive. Have you been avoiding her intentionally? 
sorry <laughs> to be uh, if that is overly um, prying I'm just trying to do a job I value my privacy that's fair uh, as a former high priest lots of folks admire my work I can see why and sometimes I do value my privacy understandable um Given that you know our uh, current employer, do you have any words of wisdom for going back and telling her not great news? I don't know. It seems like you've gotten in over your head pretty quickly. That is pretty much describes my entire life. Um, I'm not sure what to tell you. Um, next time, if you're supposed to... Sorry to interrupt, Chip Gardner, uh, unassociated. Uh, I'm from, uh, fuck is it, uh, Kirk or Dolph Kirk? Make, make a deception check for that Chip Gardner. <laughs> unassociated. <laughs> so, well, because I know we, look, I know we walked over and there's not a lot of um, flesh folk mm. here. Uh, flesh folk. <laughs> Those uh, of the skin. Ever since coming to Caradoc, people keep saying, oh, my, I know a guy who's made of skin. Do you know that guy? And I say, I don't know. What does he look like? It's like, oh, you all know each other because um, you drink milk. Uh, and I said, no, I haven't drank milk since oh, I was a baby. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, it straight was, to Dice Jam. It was on the 19 for three hours, and then it went, no, 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 natural one. No. <laughs> he goes, Young men, but uh, and you see as like he such a dad energy. He reaches under the workbench and he puts a gun on the table. Yes, <laughs> let's go. I would suggest that you never lay eyes on me again. For what it's worth, <laughs> we put ourselves at great risk to warn you. I feel like that should count for something. My friends misstepped here, and I apologize for that. I'll allow you to leave. Mate, settle the bet. Does that shoot lightning? Not quite, but it hits. But pretty close. Just as hard. Pretty close. That's what I said. He can shoot lightning. He's friends with God. Let's go. <laughs> I never disagree that he can shoot lightning. Oh, you weren't acting like it. Have a good one, Mr. Likey Saver. <laughs> We are standing, I think Thistle, Miri, and Shy are standing across the room watching this yeah, absolute this, train They trip. just bomb. <laughs> I, like, can Gamma I make, team, can you're in Gamma team. Can I make an expertise? <laughs> like, I never got to roll <laughs> persuasion. Like, can I do anything to I salvage mean, you were, that? Like, you were going in pretty hot with the truth, and... I don't even get a persuasion roll, like, <laughs> to fucking ease the keel, like, nothing? That's nothing. That's what why, like, because I can't go in deception, because I don't deceive, I'm a what, persuader. What would you like to say to try to salvage that? What I said, where I said, I'm sorry, like, that, what he said was a fumble, but, like, we came here with the truth, and that should matter, like... I feel like being like, hey, we put our cards on the table and... Yeah, and, and it worked. Like, it, like you were you persuaded him to allow you to leave without okay. detaining you. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I think... That's a bummer. <laughs> I think we're just watching this on the other side of the room and being like... I think that went well. Shit. It did not go well. It did not go well. Team Gamma, you're up. Um, I think we might be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to pee. I can't <laughs> I, I, like, I look at... I go... Miss Lightkeeper. I think that's Priestess Lightkeeper. Um, yes? We are. I think we know your niece. Uh oh. Um, we met. Which one? <laughs> we, we met, um, I believe her name, Captain Iliad, on a uh, boat. Yes. She was so lovely. Yes, she took is. such great care of us. Huh. Can, can I ask a question of you? Um, first off, the this is our first time in Caradoc, and it's, um, it's, it, it, see, um, I'm not from here very far. This is very impressive. Um, we've had the, the pleasure of working with some of the priestesses of, of Nephthysicate before, but I've mm -hmm. never, uh, I'm not uh, really religious of any kind, but I've never seen that. And I like point to her holy symbol. Oh, yes. Um, I walk two paths. Oh, like with two, like with two go gods on your side. 
Yes. That's mighty lucky of you. Uh, I did not know that was an option. I... I'm not sure. I, my mother was a high priestess, and so was my father, so... Um, I guess so you didn't have a choice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to. You laugh from across. The <laughs> no, I'm gone. No, no, I don't no, want to no. be shot by lightning. <laughs> um, I look at her and I go, um, and I kind of shoot an eye towards Kokani and back to her. I think if my now I'm not great at reading people, um, but I think our some people, our friends might have just made a very uh, grievous misstep with your father. And I don't know what happened, but I want to say um, my apologies in advance. And um, All right, I guess I'll ask him about it later. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look great. Um, but uh, can I ask a question about what that device does that he made? It looked very interesting. I know nothing about um, Wolf Forged. Oh, um, yes, he has been working on this for quite some time. It's a, how do I describe it? Um, in terms you'll understand. Uh, Warforged, their bodies are inorganic. Um, so they're Ability to repair themselves can only be done with tools. I understand. Typically by them, something they teach each other. But this device uh, helps their body uh, self heal over oh. time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very interesting. It's an enhancement. Mm. Which could be very helpful if you're going to a place where you might not. Be able to repair yourself. Yeah. Yes. I suppose so. Mm. Okay. Um, I would kind of look at this all of a, like, y you would get the sense of, like, I don't want to burn this bridge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so... Um, I have just one question. Yes? Looking for someone. Actually, two people. I'm looking for two men who are not the same height. <laughs> that might often travel together. We've been asked to Good keep Good luck it. with your search. <laughs> you don't know two men who are not the same height? I know many men, uh -huh. uh, and almost none of them are the same height. Wow, any that is a large pool for us to work through. Any perhaps to um, expand on what my dear friend Thistle here was talking about is um, they might have had ill intent towards someone and we've been asked to keep an eye out for them, that's all and they've been uh, accosting someone in the city. Oh, well, um, you can always notify the city guard. Right. Um, that might be worthwhile. They can keep an eye out. Um, we haven't had any issues at the temple. Right. That's good. It's That's good. pretty safe place. Okay. Do you have, like, a temple that is both? Or do you have two temples separate? I travel. You go between the two. I go between many temples. Ah. I travel to temples to Thysera and temples to the Thysicale. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a combo temple. We were just yeah. at uh, Temple Philanus a couple days it's ago. Beautiful. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful this time of year. Yes. Um, they let us go, or well, one of us went swimming. Ah. Quite transformative. It's a great honor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Thistle had a. Uh, I had a curse removed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are quite good at it. Though. Yes, apparently it was, I don't want to boast, but it was one like they'd never seen before. Ah. Uh, cursed by a god I was. Well, <laughs> you are unlike anyone I've ever met before. I am realizing I am like a tree warforged. A warforged of a tree. Ah. That's an interesting way to put it. Hmm. I suppose so. I don't know anything about your anatomy, but if you say so. We should, um... What for? <laughs> this is the most awkward fucking conversation. No, before. the last one was, Adam. <laughs> the last one was that the was most just, awkward. No, 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 you didn't feel it because you was, were inside it. That was just I was, out, no, that was outwardly hostile. <laughs> this is... 
Oh, more awkward because it's like I was on the outside of both of them, and the first one was worse. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to save something. Um, we it's a wood it was, forge, it though. Was the an wood absolute wood forge was wood forged. Thank you. Thank you. It was an <laughs> absolute pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Um, we are uh, hopeful that we'll come back and uh, perhaps catch another demonstration. Yes. So, thank you, uh, priestess. Good day. Mm. <laughs> there are. There are things I feel that could be in motion soon that might be of importance. You're being very cryptic. Yes. Perhaps you should be more direct. That doesn't work. There might, <laughs> there might come a time where we meet again in the not too distant future. All right. And I need you to know that our intentions are good. We're trying. All right. Okay. Thank Fine. You. Thank you, priestess. That has the biggest don't scream energy <laughs> I've ever uh, heard. Yeah. Just you know, something's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. You're not gonna want it. <laughs> You're not. And I know you just sat down in your car, and I'm in the back seat, and you did not expect me to be here. But. Do not no, 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 no. I am letting her know that when she gets in her car and I'm there, do not scream. Oh, all right. I am warning her before we're even in the car. Oh, I don't like this I'm energy all there around. There will be a car. I, uh, I, we excuse ourselves and, and we go and catch up with the boys outside. Okay. What? what you're going to have to give them back the money. <laughs> we sh I don't like this uh, any way around. No. She, she should have. This. I know that Halora is a, a colleague of Moss's, but stick. Whatever she plans to do doesn't feel good. No. And I don't feel good. They, he's doing something that will help these people. The war forged. I don't know whether she plans to take this uh, and just use this for herself or destroy everything. I think our best course of action is to blend the truth and falsehoods together and say that he saw through our ruse and he immediately called us out and that he said if anyone who's looking for my workshop wants to know where it is to come talk to him directly. So we shouldn't be honest and say that we dropped Laura's name to the person uh, that she asked us to follow when she told us to keep a low profile about her? I, um, the part that is alarming to me is the fact that our quite charming friend upon utterance of her name, completely lost. It was Stonewall. Hey, and that name must carry so much weight. She's been worried about being accosted in the city. So, and if, if, if the relationship between her and um, the high priest is as bad as it seems to be, I'm assuming we'd filthy Yeah, yeah, yeah of, course, of course, of course, of course. Then, I don't like being on the side where I've done a lot of jobs for a lot of people where I sh shut up, put my head down, and did the work. This don't feel like one of those I should do that for. I don't care how much money it is. I don't want her to hurt them or take something from them just because she feels power and full enough that she can. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say a couple of names. You tell me how you feel about them. Alaban. Gideon, Aurora, they're all in the same breath. They're all of the same group. And Their Mons. intentions. Are, uh, <laughs> I don't want to make you scared of your brother, so I didn't want to bring him up. No, I mean, if he's the only one who's broken the slightest way side of good, she strikes me as someone who takes what she wants, gets what she wants, no really matter the cost to other people. I feel like we're making a lot of judgments about someone we talked to for about 20 minutes. I will say it is odd though, that she said she didn't know the guy's name, yeah, although he strange. knew her. Maybe she was lying, weird thing to lie about. Something that stood out to me is every member of Eliban's students, including Eliban himself, have developed a specific obsession 
sounds like they had them from the off. Mm. Moss wanted people to have magic when she met, you know, like 70 years ago. Chucklefuck, sorry, Gideon, um, was obsessed with death. She already wanted to do life. I think they came to him with their speciality in mind, and he helped foster it. Fost- fostered it? He helped fo- foster. Sorry. Foster. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sprig. Eerie. <laughs> <laughs> foster! Um, Sprig, very and, good with grammar. And uh, I think that's a really good point, Mark. And up to this point, we haven't had an experience of Moss talking about extending his life. We've only heard from him about the applications of magic and wanting to apply, give everybody access to magic. This is the first we've we found of a, a group of, he is the outlier, at least to our knowledge. What, a, what did, what did um, not Vesper, uh, Yadira, what does she want? We know that she's uh, familiar with curses of some description, but we don't know anything else. Well, here's my pitch. We're not finding the bloody fucking workshop. workshop. That's just not happening, is it? However, There's a lot of men in this town who are of different heights. I think we could pin this on two of them (laughs) and at least walk away with half. So I I think that uh, we've just dropped a name. Mm -hmm. I think we will find those men of different heights following us very shortly, if they were looking into it. I have thought that... Do I see any men of different heights? Make a perception check. Because I didn't see one like an hour ago. Guidance. You were in the temple. I don't have that. <laughs> Miri does. She will guide you. You looked in the temple. I now you're out on the street. street. <laughs> Perception. Uh, 23. You notice at the kind of like, there's sort of a square outside of the pala- the old palace, and then there's a, a large street that kind of goes down the center, um, and a number of streets that kind of branch off, almost like the whole city itself is sort of in a half-cog shape. Um, and you see down well, one of the roads, uh, you see probably about 400 feet near some of the market stalls, you do see two men of noticeably different height. <laughs> one looks to be dwarven, quite short, and the other looks maybe elven, quite tall. I would sort of lean over to Esper. <clears throat> um, you don't get a ton of detail from this I distance, don't, but... I don't draw any attention, but I see two men who are not the same height. Uh, uh, the, the, the uh, elven fellow and the uh, dwarven fellow. Mark and I were the ones to kick up the dust. You keep walking. Well, on one of the stealthiest of us, we have that hat. If this one, maybe if you can look like me. And you and I can take and a Mark is not the stealthiest, so it works in our favor. I'm not not the stealthiest. You're great, but you know. I'm gonna, you? If you had to put a number on Try it. and go around a corner so that I'm not visible to them. As I think, yeah, we all think we're equal. Yeah. We pull around. <laughs> you shot a one earlier, and you wear very bright clothing. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. Because I'm fabulous. I'm, I'm putting the hat on and becoming here. And I think okay. we, like, we pull around the corner, Esper tucks in, and yeah. Thistle turns Let's make some stealth checks. And <clears> except <throat> for Mark, who's well, not Am I doing stealth, stealth or am I deceiving? Well, yes. Because I'm so not hiding. We're trying to, well, if you want to. There's yes. hiding, and we're, we're pre- trying we're to get But you're getting the hat on, right? Uh, but I only care that they don't see. Well, that would be stealth. That's okay. trying to hide. So Mary will drop past. I would again. love to give advantage on this as, um, I, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Be very loud. No, I'm going to like, uh, talk to you in your head, and I say, I'm gonna shove, I'm gonna shove fucking Esper here, you follow me into the thing. Cause we're like around a corner, yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna like, so we've been, we've been talking, I'm gonna like, shove Esper, and I'm like, you fucking idiot, you shouldn't have said that thing, and I'm gonna push him out of their line of sight, right. and my intention is, he's gonna come, and like, you know, oh no 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 don't! And then we do the switcheroo. He comes out with me. Perfect. And I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like have caught up with them, and then I'm just gonna peel off okay. like afterwards with actual. I got a nat twenty, so thirty six. Yeah, yeah. Thirty four. Thirty four. Uh, twenty two plus ten, thirty two. Thirty two. I need a performance check from you. Okay, this I can do. Come on, <laughs> come on, buddy. Don't use that dice. That dice. That's a bad boy. Dice. <laughs> You're a bad dice. <laughs> You're a bad. Guy. Um, you cast guidance. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cast. No, she cast 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 cast
You, mm -hmm. uh, I'll bought a Is Miri, where's oh, Miri going? I assume. Miri's going with them. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah. uh, Twenty-three. Yeah. Oh yeah. With your with your Bless performance you. and your nat twenty, you like seamlessly sort of all the wheels. Mary kind peels of off place. of him and kind of like to to cover it. She kind of just comes on and goes, "What the fuck was that?" Like just to block their line of sight as this is happening. Yeah. And yeah. she peels off with these two as Esper and I peel. Off. Yeah. And you two slip away and you come out. I'm gonna walk away in a Esper. huff and say like, "Follow me and make amends." I, <laughs> I think we're gonna basically. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm bad at accents. Okay. <laughs> but he's gonna like yeah, yeah, gesture. Yeah. Which is a very S with English. Be like, Don't swing it. Get fingered, bro. Bro. I could never be mad at you. Oh, get fingered, bro. The, the ruse is immediately just like, <laughs> oh, no, 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 fuck it. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna essentially, with the like very high stealth doors, yeah. just tuck in mm -hmm. and watch to see if they follow. And basically, it's like tailing the tail. Yeah. 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 We want to give some time. We'll probably give them. 60 to 60 to 90 feet. Well, what was the fastest I could cover? Yeah, let's say 60 feet okay. behind, and then like my cloak is up. We're just kind of like okay. Navigating. Uh, so you pass by them. You head in that direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as you pass by, um, you notice because uh, you're looking out for them. You're just watching them. Um, they do kind of look at Mark as Mark goes by. Um, and they wait for the group kind of tailing him, and then they start to follow them. And we follow Kind of down the road. Dude, this is some fucking rogue shit. <laughs> I'm so excited um, to do rogue, rogue shit. Rogue, rogue, rogue shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. it. On my way out, I will make the mental connection with our man here so we can, like, I would, I would sort of, uh, try, like, let sort of, um, Mark know. Oh, you can't once you connect. I'll give you I can only one. I can only make it within thirty feet, and so when I when we walked out of the alley, I made it with yeah. him. So like we're oh, just gonna have to yeah, yeah we're gonna have to talk verbally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I, I will give it. you a knuckle bone. Okay. So that we can we've got like a full triangle. We call this triangular communication, yeah, exactly. and it's a bad communication. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to talk to someone? Don't talk triangulate to them directly. someone. You know. Um, you do all get a better look at these two guys as you you kind of side glance as you walk by and upon and closer two, inspection yeah. they're the same height. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 sure. um, there is one shorter who looks like a dwarf. Uh, he's kind of wide set and muscular. You can see he's got a large iron breastplate uh, and iron bands on his arms um, and an iron circlet kind of around his head. Um, and you see he's got uh, like a short, gray, sharp beard and his head is bald. Uh, and the other one is tall, almost looks a ladrum with his kind of sharp features. Um, and his skin is super pale. Uh, and he's wearing a, uh, like, he's got long silverish hair that's banded with, like, silver rings. Um, and they're, like, uh, they're quite polished, though. They're, they're quite shiny. Um, and uh, a long kind of tailored blue uh, coat uh, and a high collar. And you, uh, you notice, what's everybody's passive perception? 12. Oh, mine's high. 16. Um, <coughs> 17. 17. You notice on his, he has uh, two um, kind of like claw-like rings on his two index fingers mm. kind of extend out. The tall one. It's the tall one, yeah. Um, but yeah, and they, they wait a little bit after they go by and they tail them probably about 40 feet behind. Mm. Um, so far enough, that they, in. far enough that they couldn't hear me if I was to speak quietly to Mark. You're not sure. Oh, yeah, we're not trying to kill these guys. We're, we're here to get information. That's one of the things. Anything you want to say to him through me in saying to him, uh, what do you think? We're going to have the, we can still communicate even though you're yeah, sort of yeah, walking. I we want to. I lean over to Esper. Let's lead him down to see if we can find like a blind alley or something. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking. Corner, going box him in. Like fucking Rook boxed us in. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The murder alley. They think they're going to be murdering us. <laughs> we are going to be capturing them. We're just talking. We're just talking. Okay. Someone's gonna try to murder us, but they've got another thing coming. Uh, so many murder lists. You uh, you turn down uh, kind of a, a dead end street. Uh, you can see the they're like as you kind of look, you see there is kind of a, like a footbridge that goes over and and uh, there is a passage underneath, but it's blocked with a large cart at the moment that looks sort of upturned. Um, and as you kind of head down, um, you keep walking down. They sort of hover near the end of the alley, and then they, st they kind of look around. I'll have you two make 
stealth checks. And pass without DC still up. Yeah, it takes an hour. Oh, that's very good. 31. 32. Okay. Oh, they rolled high for their perception, but they still don't see you. Um, as, uh, as they sort of look around, and then they follow you, uh, you three, down the alley. Um, as you get close to the end of the alley, um, you hear a voice. Oi. Yeah. Where's Halora? Whom? Halora. Um, Mate, I don't, I've, I've, I'm not fucking around. Where's Halora? I'm gonna pull out oh. my pipes of haunting. And yeah, and I'm gonna kind of move, and I'm gonna move to flank behind. I'm, I'm sorry, we are unfamiliar with I guess I'm not making myself clear. And you watch as he moves over um, to, there's like a, the uh, the dwarf. dwarf. You see there's two kind of uh, iron statues uh, outside a smith shop. And you watch as he puts his hands on them and they step off their pedestal. As as he steps over to do that, an eerie spellbinding tune is gonna start playing. I'm gonna choose everyone but these two as non-hostile. And they need to make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw as I play my pipes of haunting. Scary Not the robots, the two people. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I think they might be. That's unfortunate. I think. And then. Can't just make them piss their pants just a little bit? Uh, yes, the, the tune kind of floats over. Mm, yes, they are. Uh, as the tune sort of floats over, you watch as the tall one kind of glances over. That's cute. And he smiles. I, the the best of the day. I I think there's been a misunderstanding. We just want to talk. And that's where we're gonna take our break. Yay! Oh. oh my goodness. Um, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. We and we will be back. We're due for a win. <laughs> Maybe. We'll be back in ten minutes after our break. Um, we love you and we will grab a beverage and we'll see you shortly. Okay, bye. Bye. When the world is in trouble. And you don't know what to do Got a cold black of water And they'll kick some mess for you So pull up a chair Because you're welcome at the table Come watch to save the multi So turn up the TV And come watch some D&D black water
right, so can I uh, get your minis, mm. please? In the uh, box. Oh, I'll just give you the box. How's that? Actually, you know what, Tim? No. 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 No, no combat. No. Je refuse. I don't want to. Je it. refuse. I said I want to talk. So let's talk before you put the minis out. <laughs> Hey, let's well, just in case, you can talk with the minis out. <laughs> Don't talk with your minis out. Don't talk with your minis out. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you not to church. call it that. Yeah, dude, that's, <laughs> well, that's a real. <laughs> this this game hasn't been going my way, and that's a, 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 an unneeded blow to my self esteem. Don't talk to me with your mini out. <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> I know we, we all took a bathroom break on the <laughs> Yeah, pee pee jokes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Clarify. It's about genitals, right? Hey. <laughs> Real tiny guys. Real tiny. <laughs> you know. Okay. What are we doing? Job done. done. Uh, you <laughs> almost spit out uh, your snack, <laughs> and then uh, you want to talk. Uh, make a persuasion check. All right. Oh, that's not good. That's what I love to hear. <laughs> mm. Eight. Yes. Uh, well, I'm gonna get my information one way or another. Well, this seems much easier when we talk. Where is Halora? Hey, you mate. Watch as they start to walk closer to you. Who who are you working for? I think we um we find ourselves in a little bit over our heads, and um, we're looking to. For some help. I'm in it for myself, and I want to know where Halora is. This is your last chance. Mate, okay. As they move closer. I'm gonna move. Yeah, we'll move up as well. Yeah. I just want you to slow down real quick. Um, we absolutely know where Halora is, but we're not, we don't respond well to threats. Look, we've quite recently decided that we might not even like Halora. We might be on the same side here. But if you start threatening me and my mates, it's not gonna go the way you want. He goes, you have six seconds to tell me where she is, to show me that we might be on the same side. Mate, I suggest you reconsider wisdom saving throw. I believe she's in Karadok. <laughs> <laughs> And to be clear, the suggestion that I'm going to uh, put into his head, well, we'll see if he even. <laughs> uh, he's gonna use one of his legendary resistance. Fuck. What? Oh, everybody got <laughs> these 10 more level six. He's just a little guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jim, 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 just Jim fighting Arn. dragons all the time? <laughs> <laughs> How many do I have? Holy. Yeah, we're I, not, I don't have it, but I'm it. I don't have a box here that says legendary <laughs> resistance. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, it feels like oh, everybody's it's like maybe the people looking after a very powerful wizard might also be powerful themselves. <laughs> she got she got us on the job. <laughs> yeah. We're looking after her, are we? We have three to share amongst the whole party. Yeah, what that's, that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. fair. That'd be a cool. I'm gonna have yeah. everyone roll initiative. Aww, oh, Tim. <laughs> I use a legendary resistance, Tim. <laughs> Combat brought to you by my frustration with legendary resistances. How close are they to me? I can't see. Oh, they're right up on me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy! Oh, oh boy. It was a long time before we did anything, you and I. All right. You I was letting I, you, you talk. They got closer. Hey, don't put this on me. No, 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 no. I was just taking turns. We've all made choices. We've all done a lot of bad, bad talking choices. today. All right. The best laid plans. All right, I just what I roll. Good. I'm mm. thrilled for both of us. I'm going to get good. the shit beat out of me by a I'm robot right light. now. 19. Oh, that's better than what we did. I'm not I'll good against constructs, team. If I can't tickle their cerebellum, there's, <laughs> there's just a, is a plus There's one. only so much I can do here. Okay. No, plus you. Okay. <coughs> resistance. Oh, boy. Well, we got one of those out of the way, team. That's good. It's very good. I don't feel good about this, y'all. All right, uh, 25 to 20. 20. 20. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 20 to 15? 19. Nice. 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 Yeah. We're positivity. 15 true. to 10. 13 for me. 13. Nice. Yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. 
This will. Eight. Five. Eight. Eight. Oh, you get a. Oh. He's a Dexy boy. You didn't he, know that. He might be. Yeah. He might and he doesn't be. do a lot of backflips for a Dexy boy. No, his uh, coat is much too fancy for All that. All right. I don't do flips. I'm just like light on my feet. Well. The spring uh, first up, you're just well made shoes. <laughs> the tall, uh, okay. tall one, knee high, uh, and Miri's up there with them as well. If we haven't already put, Miri oh, she, oh yeah, is she up Mary's there? there. Okay, good. Mary's there. The whole squad's here. Uh, he watches the tall one, turns to the shorter one. Uh, I'll be around if you need me. And you watch as he shifts his body, and he completely turns into a sort of a silvery liquid. Slides up the side of the building. Ooh. What a motherfucker. When you say slide, does he literally go. Yeah. Yeah. I like he's, he's that like spell. Tra- he's like a Terminator. Not a spell. He's like, <laughs> he's like Allison Mack. Racial ability? Uh, Teach me. Uh, all right, it is uh, Esper's turn. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yeah. No one's within combat with the, the dwarf, right? And we can't see no. him anymore, right? Is he hidden, or is that just where you've placed him? Uh, you probably can't see him from where you are. Can Esper. I see him? Isn't that him right in the yeah, middle? Yeah, no, you can't. No, 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 no the, oh, the tall elf. one. He's up here. I was talking about the dwarf. Um, you can see the dwarf, yeah. We got them t- two big boys coming up on us. Dwarf wedged between us. I'm going to, how far is he from me? He is uh, probably about 25 feet. Great. I'm going to clear the distance to the dwarf. Mm-hmm. And as I do, I'm going to kind of push forth that, that tune that's still kind of reverberating in the alley from the pipes of haunting is going to grow louder and the, like any nearby windows are going to rattle as they solidify into shapes and wrap around him as I cast Hex on him. Okay. Fine. Um, and then I'm going to try <clears throat> and stab him with my knife. Mm, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, boy. I don't like that look on Tim's face. It's 23 to hit. 23 does hit? Okay. I don't get sneak, I'm assuming. No, there's, there's nobody. That makes sense, but I do get hex, so I do 1d4 plus 2d6 plus four. Uh, do I need to separate any damages out? Uh, yes, any fire damage. Fire, I will separate or get rid of? Uh, get rid of. Mm. Yeah, Okay. 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 Eight points of damage. All right, so as you stab into, like, one of his bare arms, you, it's, it's my brand. way harder than you anticipate as your knife kind of cuts in and you go for a stab and, like, it barely gets in at all as you kind of slide across uh, and you see a little thin trickle of blood. Um, and you see his, now that you're up close, you see his eyes are kind of a slate gray and they are more reptilian than you would have imagined. Two, two of those damage were necrotic. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, all right, it is uh, Shy's turn. I look at Esper. I'll go up. Okay, I am going to... Uh, Hobby step of the wind to... The get to these guys. Oh, I want to go up on the roof with that. Oh, okay, sure. That asshole. I don't want to let him get away. Um, so I'm gonna, those little, boxes. those little boxes or the like, the, mm-hmm. the yeah. thing, yeah, I yeah. like hop Lonnie. up there, off sure. onto the roof. You, yeah. yeah. You can't do it unless you yell hardcore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not Shai's brand. Not get Shai's. advantage if you yell hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> it's only up to Tim. But that's uh, written in the, the place. That's handbook. rules written? Cannot uh, make an acrobatic check to go up on a roof unless you scream, Paco. Right, right. Uh, all right, uh, have you make an acrobatics check to get up there? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a 21. 21, yeah. As you kind of flip up. <laughs> and he like, you see him standing there and he sort of is like, oh. <laughs> cool. <Okay>. Nice flip. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I don't think, well that's, Shy's not like, it would definitely be like a like I don't know if she. It looked that. cool. Oh, it it was just cool. he wasn't expecting you to come up. Like he's like, why? Is why he still are you? gooey? Uh, he's like taking shape again as the <laughs> as the the elf. Cool. Um, you gonna punch that slug? Yeah, mm. I'm gonna punch a slug. Punch a slug. Uh, is do I have any movement left? 
Uh, yeah, you're right up on him. Yeah, I'll yeah, get right up I in his business, and then I am going to uh, punch him. Punch that slug! Okay. Punch that slug. When a slug uh, looks like a man, but it's a slug. That is going to be a 18 to hit. 18 does not hit. As you go to punch, you like you aim at the skin, and as you go to hit it, you like it almost bends around you like that liquid metal as you as you nice. miss. He's I mean, covered in Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> so slippery. What the fuck are you, man? And then I laugh. <laughs> and he smiles, and you can see his teeth are, are somewhat pointed. I like Yuck! <laughs> I'm gonna punch him again. You're gross, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna punch him again. Ew! I don't know if I uh, wanna touch you no okay. more. Okay, that's a flirty 20. That just hits. Jesus! Oh, but legendary now you have to touch him. They have legendary resistance and AC 20. Let's run. <laughs> no, thank you. Diplomacy um, is always an option. Not anymore! He made murder uh, robots! That's gonna be, uh, eight points of damage. Um, and then I'm gonna spend a uh, key point, or sorry, a focus point, uh, and I'm gonna hit him again. Okay. How much um, how much ick damage does she take from touching? Him? My I take emotional. Uh, well, ick yeah, damage. like as he kind of moves, you sweep up with your leg and, and hit him in the side, and he's like, uh. <laughs> as you hit him. Twenty one. Twenty one does hit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's gonna be another eight. And nice. Then one more. Oh, we flurried. No, that's uh, and then I think I like reach out to kick uh with like roundhouse with my leg, and I miss, and then I just kind of like put myself. Uh, back down again, um, and just get ready to obviously get riggedy wrecked by right. this guy. It is the statue's turn. Fuck, yeah. This is so bad. Uh, they are going to bring it statue. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're gonna do that. That's more fun. Do that. Um, you watch as they move closer. They both start to. Uh, they kind of move to either side, and mm -hmm. they start, uh, you watch, they start to spin with their arms out, just <laughs> in sort of whirling motion. Does either of them get within five feet of me? Yeah, oh yeah. Then the first one that does, I would love for it to make a wisdom saving. Okay. Come on, baby. Is this a charm? I don't believe so, and my phone's not on the table. It's an enchantment spell. And it does do psychic damage, but it doesn't say anything about concert. Uh, Broken charge. Uh, this is an, I rolled an 18, and they Fuck have plus zero. Fuck, doodle do. Yep, no, we'll never get to see what that spell does. <laughs> One day. Uh, as they both, uh, I need uh, you three to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Mary's dex save is not great. Oh my, God. everyone's in dice jail. <laughs> everyone's in dice jail. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. 15 for me. That's a success. Oh, 14. That's a success. Yes. Eight. That is a failure. No! <laughs> um, uh, I'll have you make... Uh, no. Well, yeah, it's within 10 feet, so uh, you can make another one. Come on, Bone Daddy. Come on, Bone Daddy. Okay. All right. 15. That's a success. 90, 20. That's a success. 12. That is a failure. No! Oh! So you'll take, uh, I'll just roll the what the full damage would be because you would have taken half yeah, damage from each. Yeah, and then he gets double damage. Uh, so that's. That's bad. Uh, like 12 it. points of bludgeoning damage for you two. Nice. And 24. you get 12. Uh, uh, no, because that was the first one. Um, basically, because they're just taking half, so I just rolled it once. That's uh -huh. there, so that'll be the first. One is 12, and then the second one is another 15. So you're taking 27 damage. 20 point, uh, 27 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning! Nice. Good. Slam around. You're immune to that, right? It's, yeah. Uh, uh, legendary resistance. That's their turn. Uh, it is uh, Miri's turn. Okay, Miri is just gonna shit. Shit, uh, and you're gonna watch as kind of her hair uh, splits and parts as she is going to use a channel divinity to invoke duplicity. Let's get someone else on the board. Um, so we're gonna put her double uh, probably right here, like oh, in the center. Yeah! I want right there. Helping out that yeah. rogue. Um, so we're gonna, yeah. uh, oh no, we'll take, keep a distance. I don't want her in melee. Oh, um, oh. I want her back, just there. Um, Oh yeah, I guess for st if she's in if she's in melee, it counts as uh, ally. Yeah, okay, like, then fine. Let's put her in melee. I just switch. gotta check what her melee spells are here. Um, <gasps> so much of my damage. 
Uh, and oh she... no, my whole build. <laughs> Dude, rogues having good initiative is really counterintuitive because if they're the first into the fight, it's often just like, huh. like uh, oh, And uh, as a bonus action, she's going to reach over, uh, touch Esper, and cast Shield of Faith on you. Oh, with the with first? Through the double. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, because that's a bonus action spell. Um, and uh, that is uh, her turn. Yeah, All right. You can cast spells through a double. It is the that's... dwarf's turn. Okay. Nice. That's, one that's what I was waiting for. Let's uh, see. And he. Dead. No, the dwarf isn't next to you. It's next to Esper. Uh, he calls out one more time. This dragon is gonna eat me. He calls out one more time. He goes, "Are you ready to tell me where Halor is?" Uh, and then uh, he, uh, you watch as he pulls his hands over the iron bands, and you feel uh, this kind of wave off of him. Uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Shitty Shang-Chi. That was a journey. Yeah. Parkour. It was a bad journey. It was a journey that ended in sadness. <laughs> parkour right into the dumpster. I was like, that's a natural two. No. Okay. For a total? Up to Wait, you ready for the total? Two. You feel your feet start to turn to iron. Oh, cool. Oh. You are uh, restrained. Mm. This is going well. Great. Uh, all right, it is Mark's turn. Yeah, mate, absolutely. Sorry, my, my friend mentioned that we're a little over our heads. You've made that very clear. Absolutely, and I'm just gonna take the dodge action and put my, uh, I'm gonna disengage and walk back from the robots, uh, hands above my head. He kind of looks expectantly waiting for more information. Oh, oh, I figured that was just my whole turn. Yeah, um, do you have a map or something? We're new here. Like, I wouldn't know how to describe it, but we know where her secret lair is. Okay, make a persuasion check. <laughs> okay, we got this. You can help if you want, as a reaction, because you're right next to him. No, he's not. No, he's next to the dwarf. He's next I'm to the dwarf. He's right next to the dwarf. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so if you put so your you hands can whisper up. something into him. Or you could speak to him um, to try to help it if you want. If you have, I think you have. I'll be, I'll be like, yeah. It seems like you've made your point. We're fucking, we're out of our depth. We didn't sign up for this. So I'll give you the advantage. I guess. All right. One of you has to do your job. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell Just you two right now. One. Two twos, Tim. No. The <laughs> guy rolled two no. twos. No. Two two. Ooh. I don't. Have any more dice? <laughs> Everyone you want in jail. Do you he goes, want that's some? gonna be that's no, it's it's worse luck to they'll never forgive me if I if I cheat on them. He goes uh, that's five all in. He goes, You better start describing it pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh super it was uh, a fucking alleyway. Honestly, not dissimilar to this one. Very specific wall. She put her hand on it. Uh one of the it's one of those cool wizard walls. You know what I mean? Um, I, I've been in town for an, uh, 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 90 minutes and have a hard time with directions and street signs. Um, but, but, but I, it's on the edge of town. It's on the edge of town. It is on the edge of town. That way I'm good with cardinal directions. It's due east. Um, okay. big. You're gonna, it's a wall. Is it a wall? <laughs> this is your turn. Do I get the sense that this is going poorly? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my God, I mean, you can tell like it's like. Uh, I mean, like, am I am I like? Do I get the sense that I should keep fighting, or that he's he's like a moment away from swaying them? Uh, it seems go. like he's uh, he's receptive, and to to be fair, he hasn't attacked. He did something to Esper. Esper's turning to iron, mm -hmm. but he hasn't directly attacked you. Only the statues have. Okay. So he's he wants information. I would. Um, <clears throat> Mark is no longer in me with the statues. By the way, he did back up all the way against. They the don't wall. take an attack of opportunity because I disengaged. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think you've made your point. We are of no threat to you. What is the harm of just speaking to us? I am not asking for you to let us go. We have said we will lead you where you need to go. We cannot hope to fight you. Let's just speak about this. Hard to speak when I'm being bludgeoned. You can make a persuasion check at advantage. Well done. You can't guidance yourself as a reaction. Ah, that's pretty good. 
Uh, persuasion. Yeah. It is his turn. As his action, he could cast guide. Oh, that's true. Um, true. Um, okay. true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Ah, oh, not bad. He goes. All right. You will show me the way. Yes. But could we speak first, please? We are speaking, mate. All right. We. Who do you represent? I, I just need to know what we're caught in the middle of. Would you all like to drop out of initiative? Yeah! Uh, I... Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. There's something that Miri would like to do, but she needs to not be close to other people to do it. Okay, it is Miri's... Uh, oh, I skipped over Miri, I'm so sorry. No. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. It would have to go all the way back. Yeah, that's exactly my mm-hmm. thing. All right, well, we can go through um, the order. It goes back to the top after that. Um, it goes back to uh, the gentleman on the roof. Okay. Uh, and he looks at you, having heard all of this, and he goes, that's pretty fancy, all of that, what you do with your legs and your arms. I don't like your fucking tone, pal. <laughs> like, um, I'm just joking. And that's his turn. He doesn't take an attack against you. Uh, it's your turn. A shy? Mm-hmm. Oh. Or, uh, no, sorry, it's uh, Esper. Um, am I turned to stone? Or I need I... you to make another oh, constitution I'm saving so good at these. Hey! hey! That just does it. Oh. As you manage to save DC 18. kind of Jesus push Christ. away the like creeping petrification, uh, your magic kind of swells up and pushes it back out of the ground. And uh, the dwarf kind of looks at you like. I feel like like my fingertips would start turning to iron, <laughs> and then the fingertips would just fade through the iron, and <laughs> yeah. little chunks would just ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> um, listen, obviously you're powerful. Halora is powerful. We just got fucking caught in between. But it's nice to know what we're caught in between before we fucking bring the hammer down on ourselves. Please, please tell me you understand that. Make another persuasion check at advantage. 23. Yeah. He seems to have calmed. Yeah. I can tell you're out of your depth. You show me the way, and I'll fill you in. Great. Back to uh, the statues you watch as they sort of like slow down their spin and just sort of stand waiting for a command. And then it's, uh, or sorry, it's your turn, and then the statues would do, or. Miri's turn? No, Shai's, Shai's turn. turn. Shai's turn. Um, Slap. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. Seeing that he hasn't attacked me when he could have, I'm just gonna kind of step to the side so that if he wanted to slither his way down the edge of the building like the little slug he is, he can. Um, but I am going to essentially just be like, like that I'm not going to. No cash wearing goodbye punch? That's tradition, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're not from there, you don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna. You head back down. Uh, no, I'm gonna. Stay up there? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him. Neither does he. He doesn't know it's not a real thing. <laughs> uh, all right, and then it is Miri's turn. Miri, uh, being far enough away and only near the statues, is going to cast Ascending. Okay. To Okay. Is that an outward speaking thing? So. I don't think it's an inward thing. No, I think the uh, it's the definitely verbal. Verbal components are the is twenty-five the words. Yeah. Is the message. <clears throat> Stop secret. Um. You got cool sorcerer abilities, and you can say it in your head. <laughs> They'd hear if I said. Fuck. Statues would. You're not sure about the other two. But. Um. 
I will say, because you, you are in a hard position because you're playing someone else's character, mm -hmm. Miri's a natural scam artist. Is there a way to frame the sending in a way that it sounds like she's talking to this guy? Because mm. that's something Miri would do, is be that's like, true, hey, really I'm going to converse point. with you, and in conversing with you, basically be like, like turning your phone on, yeah. calling yeah. someone and being like, dude, I'm sorry, you've got me at gunpoint. Yeah, of course I'm going to take you to Halora's. Like that kind of... Okay, yeah, so yeah. Like what Miri's... Great, great point. Love that. Collaborative team building, thank you. Listen, listen, so, it's not your character, it's hard. Uh, you Miri is going to uh, spin uh, the copper ring that's on her finger that she uses as the material components for sending and kind of move it up towards to run through her hair so it catches at her mouth. Um, and she's gonna say, this is a bad spot. We're having a tough go. I wish things were different. I'm sorry. And that's it. I said that in Shai's voice, but it's really, a, we're <laughs> having a tough go, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. You just hear back, where are you? I can't send anything back to her. She, if she's that powerful, she can fucking scry and figure it out. Exactly, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, and then we'll drop yeah, out of initiative. Is. She's a level yeah. 20 whiz. Okay. Listen, can I, uh, what, what should I call you? Um, you can call me Ferrothor. Ferrothor. Yeah. That's a one. We're an iron dragon, obviously. <laughs> Ferrothor? Yes. Lovely to, lovely to meet you. My name is Thistle. Yeah. Um, why are you looking for our previous ex employer? My brother and I have been hunting there for quite some time. Mm. Brother? She kept us as captives. <gasps> no! We escaped. Wow. And we've been hunting her ever since. Uh, that is. Oh! oh. Mr. Whispers. No, no, no. No, no, no. That one. Yeah, the, the liquid one is Mr. Whispers. No, 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 no. The, she fucking experimented on people. That's why we were looking for her in the first place in Scandal yeah. 1. She's built with these people with powers. Yeah, you oh. watch as he slides down and he goes to the end and jumps down and you see his coat kind of billow out and take a more rigid shape, almost like wings, as he lands on the ground. Yeah. She's created a bunch of X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like we need to be better at vetting our employers. I did not know of her past discretions. I yeah. apologize. She isn't exactly up front with it. Yeah, no, she definitely is not. She just takes what she wants and moves on. I have a question that might seem strange. If she'd seen you, would she recognize you? Hopefully not like this. Right. We don't always look like this. She, uh... She does know that there's been two of you following. She doesn't know who you are. She knows that there's two, and the only description she gave us was two men of unequal heights. Yeah, well, my brother's taller than me. <laughs> That's fine, I ain't against it. I'm just telling you what she told us. All right, I guess we'll change our heights. You can do that? Yeah, I can take many forms. You chose this? Yeah, it's fucking cool. It is pretty cool. It's, it's very cool. Like a I think it's cool. Wolf made of metal. Yeah. Metaldorf. Who's called Ferrothor. That Yeah. Yeah, and then I've never met a dwarf I didn't like. It's true. I also have not met a dwarf I haven't liked. Why don't we, uh... Rather. The Ferric Peaks, that's where Holor is. Broken changelings. Yeah, she was experimenting. They're like weird, changelings. bad changelings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mate, absolutely. Because hey. of the stuff she so was doing with... So your um, plan is to kill Alora. Yes. That's rad, mate. Like I said, we're new in town. Um, this whole thing is a bust. We're going to take you there. But uh, really there's guy. one place that I really wanted to visit, uh, just in the off chance that you know where it is. Do you know where, um, what's his name, Cockney Light? You know, you know where he does his workshop? Do you know? Does he have like a special workshop? I really want to check it out. Who's that? Yeah, that's what I said. All right, let's go. <laughs> um, as we walked, I was shot? sort of... <laughs> this is the secret yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was like, I do have just, I understand your goal is revenge for the past crimes committed against you. She is looking to set out on a journey to a remote place 
that she will not be able to make repairs to herself. If there was a time to strike, it would be then, not now. And I don't say that because I'm trying to prevent her harm. I just say it because while she is here, she is powerful. But when she is remote, it might be a better time to strike. Do you know where it is? Where she's going? She would not tell us. She's but I do so know fucking cagey. that she needs something before she can go. And she needs to go soon. But we can't let her get away then. You can't will, risk it. I understand. You will do the information as you will. But I will, would encourage you to pick your venue carefully. She is very powerful. Yeah, and so are we. You are very powerful. Not arguing that. Just trying to help. Make a persuasion check. <coughs> Can I guidance this? I'm so confused. Do you want to cast a spell in front of it? No. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, What do you think of this? <laughs> 18. Pick a card. 18. He considers it. And you watch as the tall one comes over. What if you found out where she was going for us? This, this I can uh, I can try. I can't promise anything. You know that she is very tight-lipped. Yeah. But we can attempt to ascertain that information. We know she's been building to something. She has been for years. So many years. So, this is this is what I suggest. All right, this is what I suggest. She needs something from this kokanee lightsaber. Me. All right, you Wait, your kokanee lightsaber? No. no. He's he, so he gestured at me. Sometimes I finish people's sentences. You were, you were talking about him. She needs something from this kokanee. Yeah. She cannot leave until she has ascertained or acquired it. If you help us find out where kokanee keeps his workshop, hmm. let's just say you Plus Kokani. Better chance of defeating Aurora. Yeah, Kokani is. If Kokani was to discover her snooping around his workshop, he she does might not, not love her. Yeah, not he's a big fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. And he has and a gun that shoots lightning, and true. he did threaten to use it when we mentioned her. Yeah, he really so hates Aurora. You, him, together, undefeatable team. You want to set a trap? Yes. Especially if the, she thinks exactly. she's sneaking somewhere that uh, she doesn't expect anything to happen. Well, why don't you just tell her where the workshop is? We haven't found that out yet. It is yet. Does she know that? This man is very clever. We can just give her any information. That's true, but if you did want Kokanee lightsaber on your side, and trust me, you do, because he's got this sick gun, we could give, him a, give her a fake location. I can, but go, I can go talk to Mr. Lightsaber. I think we would get along just fine. I, I'll go along with you. The lightsaber? Listen, he doesn't like that we work for her, but if we come to him being like, if you want to take Laura out or something. All right. But I've talked with him already, and I walked out with my life, so. All right. Worth a try. Well, is there a location that would suit you? Somewhere with zero collateral. Yes, we. I would hate for others to be injured. And he looks at the at Ferrothor. What do you think, Ferrothor? All right, here's the deal. You're going to show us where her workshop is, and then we will scout tonight and find a place. All right. All right. We'll meet back in the morning. We'll let you know where that is. Okay. If you can, find out where this Kogany's workshop is. My thinking was, rather than try and get Kogany to tell us where his workshop is, if it even exists, we tell him this plan. We All say right. we're going to set up a location that she thinks is his location. All right. We can confront her there. Yeah, okay. Sure. And then we'll trap her there. 
Or oh, attempt to, yes. Good. You three, for sure. Like we've said many times, we are out of our depth here. Right. We can set this up, but that's as far as we can do. Right, okay. Show us where the workshop is. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, um, just when we get there, if, uh, if anyone has any ability to make me better at lying, we may need someone to come up with a story that... Um, well, I don't think we need to go in. She said first... Uh, by sundown tomorrow. Yeah, and she may surprise us uh, if we show up at her location. Oh, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Miri is going to reach over. Uh, wh when the time's right, I can make you better at that. Okay. Then yeah, right this way, lads. M Miri to make a wisdom saving throw. Jesus. Being scried on. I can do something for you as well. That'd be sick. All of us talking about it. I think today I could use all the help I could get. It's a nine. Fuck, she knows now. Well, I mean, we have to, like, I... We obviously all also are, like... We, like, Mark is actively standing with his like hands up, like, we obviously look in like, distress. We have to cover all of our bases, mm -hmm. yeah. and if she sees that, like, we're in a corner, and then it's like, there's another sending I have to send. Mary has to send as well. <laughs> well as we're walking, I'm just gonna, like, mentally project this to kind of everybody individually. Hey, team, we are completely out of our depth. I'd say as soon as we can pawn one of these groups of hyper-powerful mages off on each other, we just fucking leave. And we get on a boat, we don't talk to Mark, we don't talk to anybody. This whole fucking place is burned. We just to, to leave. To back to you is like, I absolutely, um, uh, Shai would say, we absolutely have to talk to Moss. He's gotten us in the middle of something. He sent us here. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Miri is not saying anything. Miri is deliberately keeping quiet. Does she, do you know, you don't know that you're- You don't gonna... know, but she would like, yeah. having no, sent yeah. this bell yeah. and getting this information, yeah. she would know to- I think we got at least a 20 minute walk. We can do yeah. enough triangular yeah, communication yeah, 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 yeah. as I like- When we're five minutes up. out, I'm just gonna reach over and be like, you got this. Uh, and there's gonna be like a resonance to my voice. My there's like multiple that. voices speak and I'm gonna give you a body. But if yeah. anyone would like to chip in on that idea- I, uh, I... Miri also, Heels off. Knowing the plan that you're yeah. going back, I think she would be wise enough to hang back. She hang uh, back. Right. she kind of like um, kind of like straightens Mark's collar and says, uh, "Yeah, you absolutely have this." Uh, and she's gonna use enhance ability uh, with Eagle Splendor for oh. charisma. Does that do anything else for me? It's an advantage on all of your charisma. Yeah, but I know they all have a fun little secret extra bonus, uh, and I forget what it is for charisma. No, bonuses. I think the, the mental ones don't do anything. Oh, mm -hmm. that's fine. Um, I was like, maybe I got like temporary HP because I'm so pretty, but that's a bardic thing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, just, just so we're all, all on the same page before things break bad, we've got enough time to at least talk about. Mark is pro. I don't want to kill Halora. I don't want to kill these guys. I don't want to kill Kokani. As soon as like we're out of sight, yeah. I want to be out of mind and out of town. Yeah. Does um, everyone like that? Yes. Thistle wants Halora to be gone. Thistle d definitely. I don't know if he if if we have time to convey this, but he's definitely on the. Uh, these you guys would have it in, in head. Though. Yeah, yeah. We, we've got the enough space. Listen, yeah. Gary Williams wanted Thanos gone, but he wasn't fucking there fighting him at Wakanda. <laughs> like I think, yeah, let's get rid of Halora, but let's the Avengers do it. Like I don't want to be up in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> but I mean, this water, is I'm an accountant. <laughs> you, what, what I'm hearing is, you want the plan that we've told these guys. Yeah, to I want it to be successful. Um, as if okay. Mary's peeled off, uh, she would have an understanding about what's happening, and scrying lasts for ten minutes. Um, she might not know the spell. Make an ar uh, Arcana check. Yeah. Arcana. She would know that Halora could find her, and she might not know. Mary exactly can also convey her. anything to me. One, you know, mm -hmm. not a whole bunch, but if. Uh, I, I convey my intentions to her. That's a 19. Okay, yeah. Um, so she is gonna wait, fully wait. So then it would pass by the time, yeah. Uh, 10 minutes, yeah, yeah. and she's going to cast uh, an Ascending to Moss. Okay. Um, and okay. she would go, this is fucked up, Moss. Halora's gotten us into some shit way over our heads. This is dangerous. We gotta get out. Uh, roll a d100 for me, please. Oh. It's oh. different. Nine. He's, on his He's in his mind palace. In his little house. Being a little Yeah, butthole. that's fine. It would, she would choose probably the top, and it's a 28. Yes. Uh, I'm not 
not sure what I can do to help. She didn't elaborate on her job. I'm sorry. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah, at least he doesn't seem to care about her. This might be a this might be a chat water. That's thing. a chat water. Um, I see I see the for lack of better words cogs turning in your brain, and there's a chat water there. Yeah. So this is the alleyway. Uh, um, should I? Should we uh, split off and go and find Mister Lightkeeper? I mean, that's up to our. Uh, Would you allow it? We're gonna go. Yeah, find you can split off. So you, okay. uh, the two, like, uh, how close do you get to? Like, do you show them first? I mean, my intention is to go straight there. Yeah, I yeah. Think they want like you to line. show yeah, them but where it is before before we split off. Yeah. Okay, that's what I meant. Like, I also think off. like we need a place to tell Kokani this is gonna go down. Well, I think we need to get him on board before it. Yeah, he's not even on board. He's not even on board. We need to get him on board. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So right this way. Um, uh, I believe it was this one. Uh, like I said, bad with uh, signs, but I think. Pretty sure this was the wall. Absolutely, hundred percent, definitely sure. The look, kind of Ferrothor looks at the tall one. He kind of, you see, he walks forward a little bit. Kind of like moves his hands, and his eyes go this kind of like that sort of silvery, metallic. Yeah, there's definitely stairs down. Okay. Good. So if, and then we're at the back, like, so peace. If we have to explain ourselves later, do you want us to like say who you are or what or like? No, we need the element of surprise. Not to Laura, just like Fair Thor and Argowick. Ar hey, I was I was thinking that you did kick the shit out of us. Like that gives a pretty good reason um, for why we weren't able to do the job she sent us after. Like, right. that seems conceivable. Because she does know that the, a couple fellas of differing heights are after her. So. I wouldn't tell her our names. Oh, I didn't know the names. You just you showed up. I know I kicked the shit out of me most specifically. And, uh, and then uh, we escaped very heroically. Um, right. Huh? Cool, cool. So what was your name again? Argowick. Uh, Argowick. <laughs> I'm not going to tell anyone. Ferrothor, uh, Iron, Argowick, Silver. Argoic. Quicksilver. Mm hmm. X Men. Well done. <laughs> uh, Fair Thor. Colossus. <laughs> Just short. No, Thor. No, that's in the name. All right, so uh, you see Argoic um, moves back and he turns into that kind of silvery form again and like moves into an alleyway. Sort of disappears. Do you see any robot crabs around? <laughs> no robot crabs. Have they also risen against the Laura? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, as Ferrothor, um, you kind of head away from there, and Fer Ferrothor is all right. Will we find you in the alleyway with those two statues? That's where we'll meet tomorrow morning. Are the statues still going to be there? No. Oh, thank God. There'll be statues again. All right. Got it? We'll meet you there in the morning. Yeah. Laura, or to figure no, out where? No, no, no. To figure out where? To figure out where. I'll be there, Sana. All right. Perfect. We're going to go speak to Mr. Lightsaber. Good. Have you changed it to Mr. Lightsaber? It is now, now? Mr. Light. To be no, fair, saber. Saber. He, does, saber. he does have the sun blade, so technically, yes, it is a lightsaber. He does but still I'm saying have the sun blade. Saber. He did say we could address him however we wanted. It's so. true. It's true. Canonically, it's pretty cool that way. He <laughs> is a pretty cool. And he has a gun that he puts on the table threatening it. So also pretty cool. Yeah. And has strong dad, uh, dad, dad vibe conversations. Yeah. All right. It All is, right. I'd say it's probably mid afternoon, a little later in the day. I'm gonna go find Mr. Lightsaber. Are you gonna go try to find I think we would all kind of loop Mr. back up. We'd go find Miri, uh, and then we'd kind of loop back up and try and head over to the <sighs> temple and the new well, paradox. He has an uh, enhanced ability and Bardic. 
for the next like ten minutes. So you run to the or, temple is what I'm seeing. I don't I, run anywhere, mate. He's not, we're not trying to deceive Kokani, we're trying to deceive Halora. I thought that was what that I just, just in case, case she, she, she showed up. Because oh, okay. there's a very good chance that she ambushed the ambushes, but it didn't go that way. So thank you very much for your assistance, everybody. If you're going to talk to him, he already doesn't like me. I was going to find a pub and maybe have a little rest. Oh, more blood. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's gonna oh. reach over and cast a uh, third level cure wounds on you. Oh good. Yeah, I would go back to the temple and he got hit. He's still there. He got rocked yeah, by those rocked. robots. You too. had in there's another afternoon service, mm -hmm. um, and he is there. Uh, it looks like he's 16. going to do another demonstration. Uh, so it's plus three, so nineteen. Uh, it's early in the service, so you know you probably have at least probably an hour and a half, maybe two, okay. before he would be done that. I'm a hundred percent just going to post up in a pub nearby, yeah. take a full on this short would, rest. This would hang out. Uh, at the service. Okay. I think Mary, Mary would go out with Mark so that uh, he wouldn't be alone. Oh. And I'll go with these. Uh, I'll go with these two. There's a few uh, taverns close by. Um, uh, there's one called Nuts and Bolts, mm. uh, which you see primarily Warforged kind of moving in and out of. Uh, there's a Blackwater Bar and Grill. Mm. Uh, <laughs> franchise you're familiar with? Absolutely not. Uh, there's <laughs> a bakery uh, called the Donut. And uh, oh, donut. there's That's also uh, another one a little bit farther down. Now, I do want to be stops. close. Sounds like Nuts and Bolts was the closest. Are the donuts in the shape Mark would of never be seen donuts. dead in a Blackwater Bar and Grill. No. <laughs> so tacky. Very tacky. It's, it's a chain like, restaurant. It's like going to a, a Montana. Tourist. Tourist. It's like a fucking, yeah. it's like a hard rock Red cafe. Rob. Yeah. 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 Do they sing for your birthday too? Because yeah. I'm scarred yeah, from absolutely. my own childhood. Yeah, yeah but happy even happy if they, even if they're not Petch, they do have to sing in the Petch voice. Exactly. That is the brand. Happy yeah. happy birthday. Do they dress up like a birthday? It's your birthday. Uh, they paint themselves gray. They <laughs> yeah, they like some of them. Yeah, yeah. Like there is. Um, I think some, canonically they have to be Because they're franchised. Every Holy shit, has so. Blackwater Bar and Grill become Disneyland? <laughs> where people are like, in their letters. <laughs> How much is letters making off of this? A lot. Oh, <laughs> letters <laughs> bought immortality. <laughs> <laughs> Bustman's like, what, 10% stake that he put down? Yeah. Um, yeah, and the this other one was called Bull Stocks, which was a little bit funny. But yeah, yeah the, you, you can. gave him money. But you, we'll go <laughs> in, <laughs> you go into Nuts and Bolts, um, and it's all Warforged. <laughs> We're having um, a bad time in Caradoc, y'all. Caradoc sucks. Caradoc is worse than Guy Yang. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's like a, a beautiful bar. Um, there's like, uh, there <laughs> are, you see at each table, there's like a number of tubes that lead to uh, kind of like an embouchure that you can see that Warforged are kind of, it's almost like a hookah bar in, in a way. Um, and then there's also, uh, at some Angel. of the other, there's like, there's like um, recliner chairs almost where you can see um, there are people kind of doing like reparative treatments. It almost looks like uh, on, like they, you see some of the exposed gears and stuff like that. I feel like a, nope. No one's here with me. <laughs> That's here, at the table. Here he is. You can see. Well, Mary, what do you think of this place? <laughs> In the tubes, <laughs> it looks like a gas. Like there's different colored gases. They're literally chuffing petrol. <laughs> Jeans, <laughs> bruh. Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll go up to the, 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 the barkeep and say, hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Weird question, new in town. Yeah. Abusive, digestible things. Can I be here? Sure. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, and he looks down. Uh, we it's have fine, I'm going wine. to eat donuts. <laughs> <laughs> if you go into a restaurant, I say, can I eat here? And they, they have to search for uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. we have a it's okay. Yeah, I go across out a bottle. the street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like rub it. Like, Covered in grease. Like, we're legally obligated to be able to serve you. <laughs> I just poke my head in. I don't fully commit to this one. <laughs> Uh, the bakery? No, the donut. I think oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, also yeah, yeah. The donut. Um, yeah, you see, it's it is a bakery, um, and you can see they sell uh, sort of. Do like... They bake sheet metal. No, 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 oh. no. The donuts, but they are in the shape of, oh, of a God. nut. Amazing. Um, uh, okay. And you can see there's a, a number of humans, but also there is like one uh, chef kind of moving around that does look war forged, um, uh, and you can see he's like. Very sort of precise. This is beautifully laid out. Very clean. It's a sit-down um, bakery, or is it? Uh, no, there's like stand-up tables. Like oh, okay. it's almost like a cafe kind of. Fabulous, thing. fabulous, fabulous. I'll just, yeah, I'll order one of the. I'll have that. Looks great. You the, need to do some writing. The nut. Ah. And uh, yeah, he he. I'll just, I'll saddle kind of up to uh, it up. to one of the humans. Love eating. <laughs> 
sorry, excuse me? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, this is my first time in Caradoc. I didn't realize oh. it'd be so hard to find food. Oh, yes. Are you talking to one of the staff or just one of the other people? Just one of the other patrons. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, there's lots of, where did you, did you try nuts and bolts? I did try nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah. They were shocked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they don't, uh, I don't, yeah, I mean, tourists sometimes go there just for sort of the experience, I think. But yeah, well, uh, sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to prop. You have anywhere to be? No, I just. Um, what do you? What, what do you do here? It seems really. Well, I checked out the um, Mr. Uh, Lightsaber's uh, whole experience at the church and that with uh, oh, temple. A uh, lightkeeper. Kokanee Lightkeeper? Kokanee, yes, that's the one. It was very impressive, but I felt very out of place. You know, I'm trying to take in the, oh, yeah. um, uh, I'm sort of on my gap year, trying to take in a lot of culture from the world. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> so I just wasn't expecting, A, this many robots, and, excuse me, Warforged, that's come from a very conservative family. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God. Totally get it. I am yes. physically uncomfortable with this. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone in Garadoc is going to hate us by oh, the end God, of this session. Oh, God, we can't go back. I love this city We've so much. We've already burned this city no, in a lot of different this city. ways. It's done. We can never. Trying to get back. that soft power here. Anyways, I just. Um, are you from here originally, or? Uh, yeah, I, I grew up here. Um, really? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, really? I was under the impression this place was under a, a like didn't exist until recently. I mean, it's been around for I don't know, like sixty-five. Years or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, my my well, my grandparents were refugees here. They sort of were part of the first group to come. And then, from where? Um, I think uh, they were from a place called Shinkik. Um, Shin and uh, yeah, and they settled here. Um, and they opened up like a little shop, make a jewelry. Oh, is that what you do now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm an apprentice jeweler. Family business, cool. Family, yeah. Hey, I'm waiting here for my friends for an hour. Um, uh, you wanna just hang out? Sure, yeah. Cool, my name's Mark. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> and Chad. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Zach. Zach. Zach? Zach. Zach. With a K? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, Zach. Miri. Oh, we got one friend in Caradox. <laughs> Miri introduces herself as well and they have oh, like, coffee. Oh, sure. sorry, this is my friend Miri. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> and she's a, a gnomish woman. Um, she's got, she's like, here, you, this is your first time, uh, here, let me, I'm gonna go get some of Chef Luca's specials, you're gonna love it. I would love that, thank you very much. And she, uh, like, she goes over, uh, and orders, like, a flight of, uh, of donuts. That's yes. not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm over. sorry, Tim? That's not a thing. No, it is, though. It is. Also, if you own a donut shop and you're watching this, make a flight of donuts. Make a flight of donuts. Oh, already exists, man. You can get, like, a six. You can get flights like of anything, Like, a like box of donuts? Or, you know, <laughs> this is a box of donuts! Yeah, they're they're not, sort of sometimes arranged on like it's a piece of cheese. wood. It's a piece of wood with, with pegs on it, and they have little. I hate the world. You are in. Wait, first you have Lucas you spins wanted them on, and one. then we tell you it exists, and you yeah. say, "I hate that that exists." I don't like that everything exists. Adam's you know? having a bad day. I'm just, I'm Adam's just, very uh, bad. No bad good, very bad day. Uh, <laughs> <that> sucks. <laughs> Listen, I want to go strike out with light lights. It's cool to think. Yeah, yeah, you go move the plot yeah, along. I'll go be He's like, cool. like I mean, what else have you seen? There's tons of shops. You should, and like, she kind of continues on. What is? Okay, just just so I know, what is the out? She's like, I'm like, not the touristy place, but what is the place in Caradoc? Like, I mean, what are you like? What are you talking about? Like, I want to know what your favorite place in Caradoc is. I mean, it depends on. You guys seem like you're travelers. Yeah. Adventurers? Maybe a little. Okay. Well, there's there's a few. Um, are, uh, sorry, I should have asked. Are any of you like holy people? Like, or do you? Very just nods. Oh. Um, well, there's like a pretty cool gun shop. Mary's uh, eyes go wide. <laughs> yeah, Lightkeeper Arms Incorporated. Uh, you have to get a permit, I think, if you're not from mm -hmm. here, or like if you're not. That's fucking sick. Um, but you can you get them custom made. Um, let, 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 let me put it this way: if I only had one night in Caradoc, where should I Sorry. go? That would be unforgettable. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. Do you like magic? I'm a fan. There's like a pretty, it's a pretty wild shop. 
Dimple Shrimps, World of Wonder and Awe. Oh, God, Dimple yes. Dimple Shrimps, absolutely. Um, like, if you're looking to get something, I think if, if you're looking to party, the old stocks might be up your alley. They're pretty discreet, but I've heard it can be a pretty fun time. Okay. <clears throat> How much is that? When I go to Dimple Shrimps, won't we get you anything? Um, no, 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 no. I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. Make a charisma check. You do have a botic. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> an advantage. advantage. Yeah, baby, we can use it somewhere. Wait, I mean, are you flirting? Uh, I love flirting, wow. yeah. <laughs> Shit. Do you want to use these? No, it's worse or luck. What about this one? Uh, hey, this one? 14. Okay. Okay. It's okay. We love, Smiles. We love a flirt. I mean, if you're partying later, like, I'm not working tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do you send? I don't. No. But I, my shop is, and she kind of sketches out where it is. Amazing. Yeah. You'll be there? I'll be there. And I can't get you anything from Dimple Shrimps. No. no okay. I'm not much of a magic person. I might change your mind about that. All right. Cute. Um, Let's go. And you enjoy the rest of your flight of donuts and chat. Uh, you, <laughs> as, we're walking, walking, as, we're walking, you. as we're walking, Thistle would say, I think Mark is talking about potting without me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just use it lack, like, like, like through the lack, the, the wind that you picked that up? Yes, it was a voice that said, in Mark's voice, it said, party, party. <laughs> not working tomorrow. Oh, I think, oh, I I think if we're, um, we, sh we should probably actually go in with a bit of a, um, a game plan mm. for how we're gonna talk yes. to um, High Priest Lightkeeper, uh, because we, we had a nice interaction with um, the priestess, his uh, daughter, yeah. Vesper, um, Best pa. Yes. Like the motorcycle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like Esper's name, but with a V on the front. Oh. Yeah, Vespa. Uh, that would have been embarrassing. Well, yeah, it's another <laughs> word for like uh, quiet prayers. Oh. Here's the best thing. <laughs> Thistle's heard Esper say his own name, and he pronounces it Espa. So with a V on the front, <laughs> is like the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> um, this has just been like negging everybody. All campaign one character names this entire session. Yeah. A question for you. Yes. Can I roll to see if I am familiar? So we've established that the Blackwater Bar and Grill mm -hmm. is a chain. Yeah. So therefore, the story of Blackwater would be sort of known. But you haven't been in a Blackwater Bar and Grill yet. No, we haven't. But I'm just saying, would I know? Anything about Kokanee's background? You were if they were. You well, were he does know that ice cream exists. Exactly, oh, and he has had a bunch of adventures. Adventures, and also we've been existing in the world, and I don't think we role played every conversation he's heard. No, we have. All right, <laughs> it would be. Good to know. It's unlikely, but you can make a history check. It's like, do you know that Snow White exists? Yeah, I mean, it's like I'm, I'm meeting. Jimmy Page, and I want to know if I know about Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a natural 20. Oh! That's a natural 20. Uh, I am the biggest Blackwater fan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have heard of them. Okay. Uh, you remember uh, from your time as a tree, um, adventuring parties did talk about them. Um, you knew there were a group of adventurers um, that were quite renowned, and at one point, the sort of stories go that they saved the multiverse. Oh, that But it's always, it's, it's always kind of wrapped up in a like larger than life. All the tales you heard are sort of larger than life. And they, like you have heard in passing the name Kokanee Lightkeeper uh, traveled with them for a time and, and, uh, and was part of their group. You don't know exactly any of his specific exploits, but you are aware of them. And now sort of like you didn't clue in right away that the Blackwater Bar and Grill may be directly connected to them, but now that you've seen it in a few places, it's starting to be like, oh, maybe that's... And I think it was the same kind of thing with, like, the last name, Lightkeeper. Yeah, you're starting to put together context like, clues. I knew Kokanee is Kokanee, and now the Lightkeeper part, I'm like, oh, the they're all related. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. so many of them. 
Yeah. Um, ben twenty did a lot for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I Beautiful mind. Um, I um, I think that how best bet is for someone like himself. I'm sure at the start of his adventuring, he found himself in similar situations where he felt out of his depth. And I think if we appeal to that, appeal to the sense of we're just trying to do our best. We were sent to do a job. We didn't realize who we were Exactly. For. I also think if we say, you know, there's some people who want to square some things up with her, and if he wants to do the same, this is a good opportunity to do that. It's not us asking him to do anything. It's just us telling him there's an opportunity. I, I just feel that our strongest argument is we need help. Mm. And he is someone who was part of a group who was renowned for helping. I, I don't think we come wanting anything other than needing help. And I, I don't even think that is a far stretch. We need help. And um, Mary would have shared what Moss had said in reply. It seems like Moss is kind of just... Mary's with me. I no, know, but before, but before oh, we sorry. Just looped you, back you around, um, Mary said he just kind of sounded vaguely apologetic, but that we were on our own with it. I don't think that there's much love lost between the um, four apprentices. No, I don't either. I also think this might be... Uh, Maybe me reading too much into it. But we did a job, we got him what he wanted, and then we overstepped. And then he immediately sends us on this fucking shit show of a mission. You think he's trying to dance us? He's pawing us off. Easy way to get rid of uh, something that was starting to become a problem. <sighs> we have. I'm gonna temper my anger around that. Again, it could just be conjecture. Yeah. Let's speak to um, also, by the way, it's Light Keeper. I yeah. just remembered. Yeah. Please yeah. don't call him Lightsaver. No. It would embarrass us. <laughs> yeah. No way. This will, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and we, Such uh, a funny old person thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling them vegans this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we head towards, I, uh, and, and like, I think as we walk through, like, Thistle's kind of, like, leading the charge in the door, I just, as, like, Esper walks in front of me, I just kind of put a hand on his back. And it just lingers there for a moment. As he walks in in front of me. Let's do it. All right. So you catch the end of the service again, you're a little bit later. You need to kind of wait um, as he's kind of finishing up his, his smaller demonstration for the few Warforged that have stuck around at this time of day. Um, but he is sort of finishing up, so you're able to kind of head down. I will try and catch his eye before we, like, too aggressively approach. To just basically kind of looks like, up. hi. And he sort of smirks a bit. You're back? Yeah. Despite what I said. And with my idea. I'm sorry. Back, I think, because of it. We need help. Um, whatever the fuck is going on here, we had no knowledge of it, and we've been thrust into the deep end with weights tied around our ankles. We uh, almost just got our asses handed to us in a way that could have been mighty hurtful. Two folks looking to square up some... Uh, Old dip. Some uh, the differences with Halora, and a plan was thought of that we provide a location to this workshop that does or does not exist for them to have the opportunity to uh, discuss their grievances with her. They like, um, they said some pretty um. Heavy, they laid some heavy charges of what she's done. We had no idea we were sent here by 
an old uh, colleague of hers to help out. I actually want... If we can borrow some of your time. Yeah. Um, the name Halora sent our conversation initially to a place that was uh, not pleasant. Does the name Decius Moss do anything similar? Can't say he does. Okay. Well, in any case, we um, our patron, I suppose, as it were, asked us to come help her out as an old favor. We had no idea. And if the things that these two beings, two people have said that she's done, we want nothing to do with it. So we thought we'd afford you the opportunity. You seem like you have no love lost. If you wanted the opportunity to also deal with Laura, we are going to have her in a specific They location. are going to have her. We yeah, want nothing to do with it. But, um, like I said, our first conversation, we just keep stumbling into one fucking bullshit situation after the other. Make a persuasion check. Right, that's... Twenty-seven. Yeah, let's go. Is you see that smirk again? I. I think I have some understanding about that. Now you said there's a specific location. We're gonna work that out. I would like to know because I don't want anyone getting hurt. We specified zero collateral. Good. I'll keep an eye on things. Thank you. Thank you for hearing us out. I didn't um, get your name. Oh, Esper Declan, you, you did. Yeah, your name. Your name. <laughs> um, I'm <coughs> Shah. Nice to meet you. I'm Thistle. Well, be safe. Thank you. Kind of nods. I didn't tell Kokani that we were the Nard Guard, and I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. And what do I call you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Esper's is like, ah. <laughs> We're starting a team. <laughs> we, I think we, like, graciously make our exit at that point. And is Vesper uh, Ooh, there? there? I just kind of catch her eyeline and I go. She smiles. She fixes her glasses. Cute. Right. Should we go find uh, Mark and Miri? Yeah. That went really well. Yeah. I will believe that once we're out of the city, all in one piece. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's, uh... It would seem we are on our own. Well, and I know we're going to be on our own to get back to wherever, and I was really counting on maybe Halora being able to send us somewhere, but now we are... Unlikely. Landlocked, and we are uh, two continents away. Yeah. Well, I think... A continent and a half. Is there any of all of the stuff that we were like, oh, we could check this out? Is there anything nearby Caradoc that's like worthwhile looking at, or are we just literally just hot, like fucking hoofing it to the? They fucking... have. There's been a canal that's been built. Okay. Uh, in, like over the years, like they yeah. they have built a canal so they have sea access that right. goes out. Um, so there are ships. Well, they have a navy, right? Navy, yeah. Um, and they also have flying ships as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, of course they do. They but have, like like. It's our next closest place where we were like, yeah, there's stuff over there, basically Dresda, it's, I think. It was. Well, it'd be Caradoc. It'd be uh, Pretty far Caradoc. Journey. Yeah. Far. No, but what I'm trying to ascertain is, is there anything in the local area that we can go check out to help our fucking thing? But I don't think there is. No, there's like, Caradoc. Where's... Fawe Tavar. Where's, where's, where's Gustrum? Goothstrom is, uh... Goothstrom wouldn't be that far from where you are now. We're going to Goothstrom! Hey, who's going to Goothstrom after so, Karina? Baryang is directly is Lemonade, up north maybe. that way. Yeah, exactly, you Garyang, dude. I think. You go past Garyang and east oh, is Goothstrom. I have to look at the map, but it, it actually might be just straight. Go to Garyang. East. <laughs> it's Garyang. Is the northern tip of, of Goothstrom <laughs> like, is, is not... Cold. Is cold. Yeah, it's not too far from... It's on the other side of... 
Garyang, I think, but not too far. Yeah, because the top of the top of Guthstrom is cold as heck and basically yeah. the same climate as Garyang. Yeah. Yeah. Similar, yeah. Kay. All right, let's fucking go to the bar and be sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate Caradoc so much up. more now. <laughs> we meet up with the. Uh, we duck, in, we duck into the nuts and bolts because that's where we saw, and we were like, nope. And then we go, we go. We go to the Blackwater Bar and Grill. Oh. You know, <laughs> oh no, there's more of them. <laughs> then we go into that. We, I think we, yeah, we poke our head into the Blackwater the Bar and Grill. What does the Blackwater Bar and Grill look like on the inside? Oh, you go to the Blackwater no, Bar and Grill. Our, it's the next closest one. We poke yeah, our head you in. You just go down the line. You got to know, Em, if it's you crack doors. that door. <laughs> Tim I also the trigger on thing, I also and think you can. I also think put that cat we back in the know back. Mark has been actively Pretty vocal about his <laughs> hatred. Yeah. Of like, what ah, ah, so then that's so we would enough. walk towards ah. it and then we'd be like, oh, yeah. actually, no. Yeah. That's, that's where we're staying tonight, don't worry. And, that's, uh, and then we go to. Our patrons, there is a clip of us checking it out. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's uh, a joke. I wish there was. It? You should come join our Patreon. Um, Find out. We go, uh, we go to the donut, which would be kind of the next of the bounces yeah. to go. It's later in the day, like it's getting close to closing time for the cafe. Um, so they are, but you find your friends there finishing off a flight of donuts. <laughs> this is delicious. How'd it go with um, Mr. Lightcheap? His name is Lightcheap. I think you're pronouncing that wrong. That's what I was saying the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Just have to judge. That's, that's also <laughs> the most old man thing to do. To <laughs> be like, no, I've been pronouncing no, it. Unsurprisingly, no, 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 I don't no, no, no. roll above a five. <laughs> I believe you. I never said your name was Gulia. I knew it was Julia. What are you talking about? 13. It's also something Mark would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weird. Um, so, uh, <laughs> like tree dead, like sun. I, I assume we fill each other in on yes, everything. Yes, it went marvelously. Oh, good. Tony and I are. Hey, I could use, really use a win, and Dimple Shrimp sounds like a fucking great time. Do we have time to duck there before things close for the night? Or? Also, option, oh, this is Zek. Uh, I, Zek. I, is Dimple Shrimp right. kind of like an all hours thing? It feels like uh, it might it's be. It's open pretty yeah, late. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. I know where to find you. We've got to talk business. You know, yeah. Right. But then you said, uh, and then I'm sure they would fill in, um, they all stopped. Do they have like rooms there too, or is it just a... Uh, yeah, you can get rooms there. We are going to need a place to stay in there. I, I would like to circle back. Uh, There's I, also I, an armory near Dimple Shrimp that's, that might, you guys might like to check out. Oh, armory. Kind of spotting your what knives is, and stuff. Uh, what is the name? Uh, it's called Gear Here. Gear Here. And then Gear uh, here. it was the Lightkeeper. I need a shopping episode. <laughs> uh, the Lightkeeper Arms uh, Incorporated. Oh, incredible. I, whenever Zach is gone. Yeah, she's like, I, I gotta go. And yeah, yeah, see how the place Nice to meet you. Hi. It seems like no one's keeping tabs on us right now. Mm, yeah. If we wanted to, we could leave tonight. We can sleep on the boat. Maybe there's a ship going anywhere that isn't here. I would, but we have told Mr. Lightkeeper that we would relay the location to him of where. He's not our boss. But yeah. he is doing us a favor. And we Laura could probably check us down as well if we just skip town. Mary just goes, uh, yeah, that's why I left before. I was pretty sure she might have been following me or, or looking through me or something, so. Look, here's what we've done. We fucked up a job, but we did let our boss know that we fucked up the job, which is the right thing to do when you fuck up. She's already described us, and we've identified ourselves as beneath her. She seems like a busy woman. We don't know anything about her, aside from where her fucking shop is. We're small potatoes, team. We could just leave. I personally would not feel right about that. I see what you're saying, Mark. Yeah. And I think <clears throat> it's, um, at the very least, I think we stay as long just to tell Kokanee where the thing is because he, he was pretty um, upfront about wanting to make sure nobody got hurt and not necessarily the people involved, just the civilians and citizens here in Caradoc. He uh, deserves to know that, so he can keep his town I safe. also don't want to add any more reasons to be always looking over my shoulder. Let, let me put it this way. 
Right now, we walk away. We are disappointing a lot of people. We're stealing from a lot of... Three grand. She threw that around like nothing. If we actively betray Halora and they don't finish the job or whatever, we've, we will have made an enemy. That's true. That's Gideon level. Right now, we just suck to a lot of people and I'm okay with that. We commit to this path and it goes wrong I, I don't know. She throws us through a time loop or something. I, I just, I just want to make sure we're very clear about what the consequences could be for making sure that our yeah. feelings are correct. <clears throat> You're right. I don't know what the right answer is. Um, I don't want to... We've run into... What's that? Three lie keepers now. They're everywhere. I don't want to get on the wrong side of their family. But I also agree that if she can find us, I don't think Moss can protect us from that. And I don't think he would. I don't think he would care to. I um, Since the day I've met you, Mark, mm-hmm. you have inspired me and encouraged all of us to make the decisions A hero would, regardless of how difficult. And I ask you now, earnestly, what decision would a hero make in this situation? There's a lot of people we could help. I'm sure next town over there's going to be some troll or or something. We, We, we... a small time hero is still a hero. I. It sounds like these men have grievances, but we also don't know their history. Heroes, it, it's, it's, it's black and white. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Done. Nothing's ever black and white, Mark. Yes, it is. Fucking. You've heard the. The. Uh, the, 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 the there's liches and evil dragons and, and fucking the, the guy who made all the blood in the world. You know, the, the wand. Bad guys. We stopped that. That's good. Halora uh, made a weird slug guy and gave the dwarf the idea that that's a good aesthetic. Like, that's complicated and bad, but we don't know what they did. <laughs> they don't like her. They're after vengeance. Vengeance, not traditionally speaking, morally good, so we don't know that those guys are good. Uh, I, I think you would see that Thistle Thistle looks disappointed but he says alright and we will go I just don't think you know wizards like I do they they find you, and they, and they can get to you. Well, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's just, let, let me ask you this. We go to the place, we have a oh, man, Lightkeeper, who, you know, they've got all the shops about him, so he's a good guy, right? Good, he's good, right? Lightkeeper's good. Yeah. We got the good guy on our side. Let's say everyone shows up. What do we do? We don't have to do anything. We're not there. If Kokanee is there, we can be gone before it goes down. We just need to give her a location that we just need to make balance. sure the two sides are connected. As far as she's concerned, we've just a shit at our job. Because what happened was, I think Shai, like, They've been we're, following her. Like, I take two rocks and I put them on the ground. This was her situation being pursued. What she did, I would spread them apart and put a rock in the center. She put us there. What we're doing is removing ourselves and letting things happen. That's not what we're doing. We are orchestrating a situation where her and her enemies are in the same place together. What we are doing is a betrayal. 
I agree. And if we are doing a betrayal, if we are going to do that, and we are saying Halora is bad, time to do hero stuff, then if we set that in motion, it is our responsibility to make sure that that goes a particular way, and maybe we defer to Daddy Lightning Gun. I think what we're doing, Mark, is telling her we found a location of a workshop, we think. She turns up to that location, shit breaks back. Let's be clear. We can, we can lie to her and we can equivocate, but if this words are actions, if we do this, we're doing it, and we need to take responsibility for it. That I think perhaps the most responsible thing we could do is leave. It's not for us to decide. We don't know these people. We've been given a, a, a bad hand. But if we do take one step further, then we are putting ourselves in. Up until now, we have had our, our hands tied by more powerful people. This is our first chance to decide what we want to do. And if we do it, we all do it together, and we know what we do, and we see it through. We can't leave it half-baked. You're not wrong. What about this? Mm-hmm. We've already spoken to Kokanee twice today. Mm-hmm. I, I look at Miri, I go, can you sand one more time? And she goes, uh, yeah, yeah, I can. We have Mary send to Kokanee and give him the location of the alley where Ferrothor and um, Argawick are going to be, and we let them decide what's going to happen. They can figure that out. They can pick the uh, fucking dead end. They can decide. Kokanee might even be able to talk to them if he knows her. You're shaking your head. It doesn't matter if they know where the place is. We would need to afford, uh, inform Alora. Where the workshop is. Otherwise, they can. They would just be sitting there waiting for someone who doesn't know where to go. I. I'm trying to take both boxes here. I know we can't. I oh I want. I don't like. I think Shy like pulls out the like 500 gold and puts it back on the table of like her 500 gold and puts the fulls of 500 out of the party funds. I don't want to owe her anything. I don't want to be, I don't give a shit. She can obviously, she's powerful enough to track us down and if she's gonna track us down, she's gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna, I don't want this, I don't want this. This is more money than I've ever had. I don't want this. I think we, Mark speaks true. I think we should leave. My hesitation is we've met someone, Laura, who, like Gideon, has taken children and done these things to them. And if someone else had met Gideon and had the opportunity to end him or to hold him accountable, and they chose to walk away instead, he might not have found Esper. Alora, we know she is not innocent. We don't know what she will do if she's not held accountable. But I cannot ask you, or any of you, to stand up to someone who we know is so much more powerful than us. All right, I got it. You're absolutely right. Tomorrow morning, we have the lads, we have Mr. Lightkeeper, and us all in one place. At that stage, they get tell us where they want the thing to go down. It is our job to tell Halora where that is. That is the true ultimate threshold. Once we do that, there's no going back. We can still have that first meeting, maybe there. Maybe we put our faith in, in Mr. Lightkeeper, maybe he's able to 
talk these gentlemen down. Maybe we learn more about them. I, I suspect everything's very complicated, perhaps. No, not perhaps. We go there with the goal of trying to understand what's happening here, simplifying it so we know what we're doing. Does that make sense? My sense. Also, Kokoni doesn't strike me as someone who acts impulsively. There is so much thought, even in the way his hands work. While I was watching him at the temple, he may not come alone. He may come with people who can back him up just in case things pop off in a direction that is in a, in a way that he don't want it to go. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I don't think we have to do anything other than broker a meeting place. Okay. I think we should message Kokini and ask him to meet us. At that alley? At that alley at sunrise. We can introduce all the parties involved and we can gauge before we make our final decision as to our path. When we message Kokini, make sure that he knows that those two will be there so he doesn't think it's an ambush. When yes, no, we, yeah. we would like him to come and meet the other two okay. and make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay, good. Yeah, if you want to get fucked up at all stocks, absolutely. Uh, so Miri <laughs> is going to use her last sending mm-hmm. of the day. Um, and I'm also just going to let you know, this is Miri's last third level spell slot. Oh boy. Just going to let you know that ahead of time. Hey guys, don't die. That's oh, right. that's oh. the implication. No promises. <laughs> Goes, <clears throat> we've been talking, and... We'd like to introduce you to Therathor and Argawick. Tomorrow morning, sunrise, and then I would use the rest of it to describe the alley. To describe the and um, everything except two words. Thank you. Make a persuasion check. For Miri, whose charisma is higher than mine. Yeah. Bardic. Thank you. Gosh, we're handsome. Guidance. Party. Handsome. Actually, you know what? We're going to use these ones. And uh, Bardic is a d6 right now? D6. Oh, it will almost certainly be a d6 for a long time. You have to be like level six to be D8. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is persuasion? Mm. 28. Ooh. I'll be there. Okay. That's all he says. Guys, cool. All right, so now. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doodle doodle. Level six. Woo, Tim. Tim, what are you doing? Yeah, we're just a bunch of little guys. <laughs> Like, I think, oh, I can't wait for chat water because I have so many feelings and thoughts. So much campaign one lore. Um, we will be back uh, next week uh, with more of this beautiful, wonderful main campaign. Still in Caradoc. Um, we're going to go film a chat water. And if you're like, I really want to hear them dish about all of this shit uh, and have M pop off about lore from campaign one, uh, please come join us on our Patreon. You can type exclamation point Patreon in the chat. Um, we... I love you guys very much. And um, just well, be careful. Go, go ahead. I had one, but just go ahead. Uh, when you meet a creepy silver nude made of goo, make sure you <laughs> touch, touch the nude. I was going to do that exact same one. Touch that gooey dude. Touch that gooey dude. He's so slippery slimy.